Let's have Cheers. a drink. Cheers, <laughs> Ben. And what a, what a, it's been a week or how long? When we, we arrived, mm -hmm. yeah, well, no, uh, we, we, uh, we arrived very on, on the second on Friday. Friday. Yeah, or yeah not, second. not a week almost, no, no? Yes, no, no. but man, it Unluckily, goes fast. <laughs> Unluckily, we, we don't have much time. I ha we have to go back. We have soon. one more day. Yeah. And tomorrow morning after tracking, we're shooting. Oh. <laughs> we make sure. Uh, money will be, I, yeah, I we really make like sure. that. <laughs> I have to. I mean, I have everything ready, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's gonna be cool. We just move some dogs around so they don't. <laughs> no, no danger. It's away from them, the noise. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's gonna be fun. Like we, we haven't done shooting in quite some time. Yeah, like you, quite some time. Do you have many weapons? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't collection? wanna tell everybody all about my weapons, but we have some good, like um. Yeah, we have few few things. We have some. Oh, I'll show you. We'll put them all. We'll <laughs> we'll try all sorts of different things. That's, that's you know, it's going to be a lot of cool thing. You know, remember we talked. You know, this is like the the nice things about the freedom in the states. No, that right. You can have that, that and freedom. I think exactly this the same. I think this is why we believe here that we have a chance for not to become how it is in Europe because of yeah. our different views on, on guns and self-control and protection and, you know. Yeah, but um, you know that the things can become so unlogical, you know. In, in Spain, I always thought that we have uh, this, it's nothing really I, I pretty much enjoy, but we have this tradition about the bullfighting. Ah, yeah. And I thought that if we have the bull fighting, the rest will be safe. No, I, I mean, we will not be crazy, but no, now we have this uh, new law. They have to implement the rules, but they have forbidden totally any type of use of any tool. No, totally just forbidden by law. Uh, not, not, not without opening window of to, to, to yeah, be used for something. by yeah. professionals or, or whatever. And, and that's that's so unlogical, no? It's, when we are professional and we know uh, our practice is sometimes is the way to help the dog and to help the people, no? Because this this uh, concept of all the dogs are going must be the same and must understand the same in the same way is so unlogical and so unnatural, no? Yeah. And, and all this concept. Uh, of really uh, intensive posi positivism is so uh, weakening the dog. No, we are, uh, you know, when, when I have nothing to explain to you for sure. Yeah, but, you mean you with know, the generations and the yeah, yeah. When, when you train a dog, you create a, a theory of mind. No, so you you can think well about your dog, or you can think that your dog is very weak. I'm very right. sensible and that he's going to have really big problems because some little problem comes around so, or yes. believe what we believe. No, we are in love with dogs and because we, um, people like like uh, in your tax, know that you are a breeder, you are not trying to just breed dogs to keep them. You are trying to improve all the time in your mindset. This is our obligation actually as uh, as humans towards the dog, no, I, I, the dogs they don't have a natural selection anymore. So it's really our task to really do selection. So we have dogs that are more yeah. social. Yeah, they yeah. are more uh, able to uh, be able to adapt to different to environments. It, yes, they exactly. are very resilient and they have really powerful cognitive uh, uh, capabilities and also very intense uh, drives that we can model and do very complex things as we do in our sports. No? So th this kind of interpretation, I, I always think that if we go to this positive because the th we think the doggies are so weak and they need only protectionism, right. it's really uh, it's, it's not making really no good for the dogs. Yes, it's, uh, har it, it's harmful in the in the it, it really is because you but it's strange times where we are very strange times and that's the 
Yeah, but this is, thing. is uh, we are in, in these times where actually where the people that we love dogs and and also we have a, a, a foot on science, no? Mm -hmm. we, we really uh, see dogs also, and as, uh, is do the dogs and what we do is so complex and. And we have so many different parts, no? We have the genetic. Right. We really go very deep into the psychology and the training and the ethnology of the dogs, the ethologies of the, of yeah. the dogs. So we have such a big field. Um, and so, uh, well, you know how much uh, we have evolved in our training and even in, in our interpretation of what the uh, training dogs are and the system of training no now that's the big shame because how 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 we evolved so fast yeah. and we're in incredible like really really good place of what we are doing and we keep improving but then you have the that movement that just does not care they want to they, they I, yeah. I don't sometimes don't even know what exactly they want because they it seems like they just will not stop at no like no. let's say let's say igp is no more that's not gonna make them happy no, no. you know like i had a but then i had a podcast with a very very interesting guy i don't know if you listen to it i know you've listened to a bunch of them he he was a he's a five-time champion in sled dogs in edita yeah, rot yeah i really love yeah. that so he, I, he when was I such a cool podcast, guy i, I and, really try to listen now of course and then what he was talking about there he's like yeah the peter the animal rights activists they are always going against coming them. at us but they also don't have interest to shut us down because they make a lot of noise and they get a lot of money. So if they shut us down, they're not going to have the money because yeah. well, it's an interesting way. You, you know, it's, um, you know, it's like the, 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 what means the dog in the society? What means the dog actually if we want to to improve them or not, because with this kind of interpretation, if you go to really pure philosophy of animalism, mm. uh, we um, and they they really don't know, no. But they they want to destroy dogs and cats and any carnivorous, no. Yes. Because you cannot have a carnivorous for fun, because to have your your animal healthy another dog another animal has to, have to die right yeah, so what's more important the chicken that your dog eats or your dog no right or that level of, of philosophy in one moment you, you cannot have dogs because the then or you make your dogs but when if you respect what that dog means it, it's a carnivorous you can play a little bit with the chemistry and the knowledge and make your dog not eating meat, <laughs> proper proteins, but it's so risky for the health of the dogs. And at the end, it's, this will is be a finished. very, I'll tell you a very funny story. I had, um, and I'm, I'm sure maybe the guy's going to listen to the podcast. So I sold a, a puppy to a guy from India. Yeah. And they were vegetarians and the dog ate vegetarians. You, you know, they were very, you know, Strict. I can be vegetarian. Yeah. If you make the right vegetarian food, it's great, right? Yeah. So they were doing this for the dog, but eventually something happened and they couldn't take care of the dog. And so they called me to take it back. They were moving something with visas. There was something, right? And he's like, but he's really loves his vegetarian food if you want to keep him on that. And I'm like, man, I cannot lie to you. I, I, that's one thing I'm not going to do to the dog. <laughs> like as much as you, you know, like you put meat and carrots, you know what the dog's going to have. It's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but actually, if we, uh, we, we have been playing with the genetic of the dogs, no, actually, 
is, I think, one of the biggest human experiment we've done. No, we have like right. 300 different breeds with different colors, and we have done it relatively very short time. This really big expansion of breeds, and we've been able to really not only shape uh, uh, like a, uh, morphology in the dogs, but also character. No? Right. We are playing with the very deep, uh, and we we play with such a beautiful things in the when when you have the, the different dogs, the different breeds. Yeah. How from the same base, and actually for the uh, for the uh, biology, we don't have an animal that comes from the wolf. We have a wolf. We have a, a just a, a super species of. Uh, of world, but it's not that he's coming far away from the world. No, no, you you have well, we we know all of them. Actually, we have some breeds that they have some mix of of blood of, of wolves. No? Yes. You put a, yes. You put a wolf and a, a dog, and you have is the same animal. No, it's not that is in the ancient time came from the world. We have the same animal. So if we respect the biology of our dogs, clearly <laughs> we must uh, keep them as they are. No, you just look the teeth of your dog is not uh, a sheep. Exactly. No, and his behavior we, is really impressive what we have created over the years. And and like for people like, like you that has such a long-term experience in the breeding that you've been analyzing for improve the, yes. the health, the, the, the capability of training, of course, but the training means so many things, no? How the dog can be adapt to different environments, how they can be social, how they can have those intensive drive under control. Right. No? That it's right. really, yes. and with a positive emotion. Now, when we do like the deep analysis we do in, in our sport, in IGP, in, in all the phases, no? in tracking, in obedience, in protection, we have evolved so much. And we have these dogs that are able to show us that that if you take your eyes like uh, 30 years ago, we don't, we didn't have this kind of flexible dogs. Yes, for sure. No? So and we were not even, even if we had them, we weren't appreciating it at that time. Yeah, because maybe. now it's, uh, as I said, we, I think our sport is so much in the good direction. No, when when you when we speak with this kind of positive people, they don't really know how positive we are. Right. You know, but because it's in the philosophy, in our rules, no? what in our IGP sport, what makes it so interesting is that we have a philosophy framework. Do you think some of them understand it, but just go against it because? You know, it's, uh, the, the thing is that they they have this picture of a dog that that dog must just be an animal that is doing yes. nothing. Eat and sleep and sleep and, and give a walk in yeah. the park and be social with other dogs, but yeah. the real dog was not like that. No, it's such a, a wrong. And yeah, I it's, mean, a, it's like I always think. You know, it's like we are all es like the sport. Also, <laughs> imagine no, that no, the really good life is just to be like when we were in the lockdown. No, that was yes. super. Right. Super good life. I was doing nothing, just give a small walk, then come back. If you're an active person, if you have your intellectual necessities, oh, physical okay. necessities, then we were at maybe the two first week, we were very happy because we have like a small holiday. But right. then you, right. you, you start everybody will start be really, really in, in very, very high stress, you know, that and and for those people that is supposed to be the nice life for the dogs no it's like yeah. you, we like the sport no if uh, if i go to do my crazy sport and say no no don't do it because uh, then it's going to have pain in your muscles or whatever or you're going to be cold and I say, yeah but when i have this challenge and after that i feel alive right <laughs> no Fine. it's and right. then, no, no, it's much better you stay just in the coach and give a little walk and go back and just sit. And this is the, that, that sort of mentality. But we love dogs and we love dogs in their, in their nature. What we want to have dogs that are every time more healthier, more strong, more intelligent, more yeah. adaptable, and that, that 
uh, when we we analyze this uh, thank you <laughs> when we analyze in the way we do now the dogs is so sometimes so contradictory no and then right. you if if you you have to have really when you i you know my my profession is just to be dog trainer with a normal dog no and which not, actually not, let's stop for a second because mm -hmm. we have to i i know like a lot of my audience know who you are because you've been here and you've judged a lot of things and uh but i'm, I'm gonna try to make a little introduction and you add a little bit of, of what you do um so you 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 say your three names right you don't like we always say like like we would say dave David Garcia. Yeah. But that's not right, right? Well, in Spain, we, we say David Garcia, no? It's like my father's uh, right. name. Right. But then you. But then we always say also our mothers, no? So we always say the two. So my name is David Garcia Suarez. Suarez. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's I, in, how, right? In Spain, uh, when I come to the States, always I people know. stay with the Suarez. Yes. So makes Either my mom very that, yeah. happy. But we in <laughs> Spain, we have uh, always, we keep yeah. uh, the, the both family names. Yeah. But so the way the way i think and i don't know if that was the the first time but it sounds logical to be the first time it was the 2019 yeah the fmbb championship and you were doing the obedience yeah <laughs> and for anybody that's in malinois or in igp that was a very uh, um important shift if you want to say in in how dogs were judged in the competition especially in obedience and that's where i i was like wow that there's like there are actually judges and trainers that see things and say things the way they are they don't cannot get fooled by training and then you came to the states twice or three times yeah, three times. yeah? yeah we did uh, at least three times right but but judging you did the uh, the awdf i think yeah. one time and then the malinois championship last just a few one months time ago also but also one time in in, in uh in the north uh, was also very oh nice that's place. right that's right mm -hmm. that was uh with uh van den bosch van was den bosch, there yeah, yeah. so yeah, okay so oh, wow there that was go. super uh, big honor. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was in in Maine. Yeah, and, and uh, how how um how did you get into well the dogs? Uh, well, I actually, <laughs> that's a long story. I know. I started it's to, always a long yeah, one. I, well, I always like animals. When I when I finished like my high school, I start I started to do uh, in the university a couple of years uh, biology. Uh huh. But I was not really happy, so I jumped to veterinary, and I did uh, four years of study of oh, veterinary. Wow. Um, but I was just and then I I met over there. I I I got a dog that was a mix of uh, German Shepherd and and giant uh, uh, doggo, you know? oh. uh, uh, so I I was was my with my dog in, and in the in the veterinary school already was a little group group of people doing uh, were people with boxer actually one uh -huh. of them, my first uh, breeds uh, really oh, favorite yeah. breed was boxers and uh, and then they start already f with the with the training and then I fell in love with the the uh, the part of the psych psychology of the dog no like, and you took classes too right you did some psychology eventually. and also yeah i, I always uh, was very interested and also i have uh, a start but it's really difficult to to keep the time the lime time right? the the kids the business and everything and study but yeah well i i been always for, for us is really what we do we are much more psychologists and trainer than you know than than people may think that we have such evolved uh, system of teaching and understanding 
um, about all these things you you can see in our dogs that that right. you that we are training that is really impressive. Uh, we we come also also come from the swimming world. I, I was also that's right like one of my really my sport and and then I was teaching I was teacher for swimming no with kids and everything okay. for also many years so yeah a lot of the, the evolution we do now with the dogs is so impressive that really is like the sad the sad part no that uh, we are having to excuse ourselves no or they or somebody that with such a small or so narrow view tell us how we have to do our what practice to do. No? right because, right uh, I I jump it from from that uh, that uh, veterinary. I started to really be in, in love with the sport and the psychology and the teaching of the dogs. And so, so it was right away IGP for you, or no, or, no, <laughs> no. I started with uh, the idea of IGP. You know, it was RCI those days. Yes, <laughs> that's right. That's the so, French and the Spanish would call so, it. So, uh, but then nobody was doing the sport, and and then I saw very suddenly that the the quality of the dogs we we had in those moments were not so nice. So I found a group of people that has uh, German shepherds, but uh, from the old Czechoslovakia line. They say, sure. But, yes, of course. So that, but we were. You you must place us. In those days, we were in the south of Spain. There were no internet, no yes. magazines, no information. Finding so all the all the all the knowledge was so indirect, no. So I I got I found these people with these dogs, and then uh, they they only did like a real work, no, like uh -huh. civil work, uh -huh. no, for protection, aggression. So for many years it was really very important for us that like the okay. real possibility of, of very intensive and very serious dogs, no. I, in those days was not so <laughs> problematic anymore. Yes, and and then I. I was that still with like the sleeves or the suits or 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 everything or nothing yeah or <laughs> or not <nothing, laughs> remember right? newspapers exactly. yes, in an arm. Exactly. oh i love <laughs> it kind of i love things. it <laughs> you know but then suits and then we just, you, we were very hungered of knowledge and and trying to know and i i told you the other day i i met uh, uh philip clement yes uh, with one of his he was he had this german shepherd that i was so in love with him but he was a dog that has a super health. He was able to make a record Guinness in the scaling wall. No, he was what did he jump? Three meters fifty-eight or something. Three meters that was, fifty-eight. This is what the record in those days. I think now is is past. No, I really? think some hunting dogs is doing. Okay, much more. yes. But I mean, I'm sure because it was this this kind of but in in the French ring or Mondial ring style. No, no strips. There is nothing. Just yes, only the yeah, wall. You eh? just have to but climb. Was and the dog was doing that uh, just because he, the reward was a uh, helper in the top ah, yeah. of the <laughs> so you, you know it's when when uh, and then for a while then then it's, the things start to move uh, the, you know you never know how this can happen but i uh, finally i finished myself being a professional dog trainer yes and um in my concept from the beginning i wanted to to, because we we were so lack of knowledge, I I wanted to train a lot of dogs. Uh -huh. know? So in my system of education, we have a, a place that with the years we come to an agreement to the the council hall of, of Malaga. So uh -huh. we have like the public school of okay. dogs in Malaga. Nice. No, I came with. You this have project. to have this probably, right? It's like easier to have some some. No, no, Permission. it was totally a nightmare. So yeah, of course, because our activity was not recognized. No, so yeah. I went to them to say, okay, I want to do proper training and I want to have a legal business and I I want to have my space, but I I want to be close to the city. You know, not normally. You know, our places for dogs. You yeah. need to to ride a very long distance to be able, but I want to be very close to the people so we can give that service of education, but in a proper space, not in a park, not this kind of uh, black, black market, right, <laughs> right. black market training, <laughs> I would say, because then you don't have 
like your proper structure, insurance, and facilities to yeah, make a proper. Yeah, it's done r the right way. Yeah, for sure. Not, like the amazing place for you sure. have here, no? Of course. But then, to to evolve in that system, we we need to work with a lot of dogs to survive. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we are running that uh, that, that that public school from uh, 2000. Uh, oh wow! Okay. And before I was already training, but. Uh, But to to make you like a clue of we, I think in the in our database we've been training about eleven uh, thousand Santi dogs in those years. No? Wow! And we are just uh, Monica, me, and somebody to help us. You know, is okay. Uh, so we we have to work <laughs> a lot yes. of dogs, different type of animals, different different types of of dogs. You no, know? but that's so, what it's interesting, right? To yeah. to have different yeah. variety. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why you know when we were talking when when you you narrow so much the type of training to the type of you know is is just I always say no it's like they, they we come like this situation no I'm a, if, imagine you are a doctor but you cannot use antibiotics right uh, right. you're a doctor but you cannot use the scalpel or the right. knife no you can only do natural homeopathics. <laughs> No, if I need, if it's, it's, if it's for a greater good, then I must correct because, you know, this kind of understanding that uh, all must be re positive reinforcement is, of course, is our main belief, you know, but, but uh, and also, as I said, you know, when we come to our sport even, it's, in, it's mandatory, you know, we must teach yes. positively, but we have dogs and we have... No, like if ideally we don't need police, but then we need police. <laughs> no? Exactly. So for our dogs, sometimes you need to put an order and always in balance and always, you know, with a proper and logical way and always thinking in a better good for the dog, not for really mistreat them or whatever. I always can, you, uh, of course, and you can do, of, you, you, you can challenge anybody to see a very high trained dog, if it's happier when he's finished his training than when he started. Right, right. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that would, that's so simple, no? You, you can, you see the dog and you see my, your, I can see my dog from with 12 years or your dogs with 14 years, that if they have the possibility, you go to the field that they want to go inside yes. and start training and yes. doing things with you. So <laughs> clearly, yes, it's, it's a crazy how. No, so clearly, but you see, it's this this uh, this weakening, no? Because we are narrowing so much, like the point of view. So the dogs that don't fit in this system, they they have to go. Away, yes, wicked. Would, there is no answer. Yeah, there is no answer. Yeah, no. And also, sometimes they. When you analyze the behavior of a dog or the training of a dog, you, I, I always say, like you, we have like these uh, four cardinal points, no? Then I have the, I can reward you positively and I can give a correction. I can give you a reward social and yeah. I can get a little bit upset with you. Yeah. No? So we, And sometimes don't have to be the same. We can you can give a correction, but doesn't mean that you are angry with your dog. Right. You, you know, no. Most but for, of the for times, me, it's, uh, it, it's, it's something that we must make really clear. And in my practices, I always try to, to explain that to the people. So no? how is it with them when you? I mean, now that the things are changing so much, yeah. You now, have now, you have clients that come and say, "Well, I want my dog." To be trained only positive, right? Yeah. That's very normal. Yeah, it's no no problem. Right. But I there is the, the problem that we really have is that the people don't come with their dog positive. Mm -hmm. They have correct their dog all the time. Many, right. many oftenly don't pull, don't pull, don't do, <laughs> right. don't do, don't do, but they they don't they don't really clear the communication. Yeah. So You give a lot of correction, a lot of threatening to your dog. No, 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 I'm threatening. But no, I, I am very positive because you don't give a clear correction, but you are, right. you are all the time correcting your dog. You're always and upset then, at the dog. You Socially, 
they that has a meaning for the dogs. If you correct them and you don't get the the concept, the dog is going to have two knowledges. Yes. Then I don't do what you ask me, and then you're weak. If you're weak, you cannot help me. Right. And the really sad thing you see in many many dogs are that they are alone. They they come to a really difficult society, and they don't have the backup of his. Uh, Father, you know, in the social behavior of dogs, we know now that they is not a question of leadership; it's a question of fatherhood. You really are guiding your dog. They need that, right? Because they are not dogs that live in the wild. They are dogs that live in a city that is so strange and so unusual, and they need our guidance. If we lead their natural behavior to appear. They, they will be chased by a car. Yeah, they wouldn't know what to they, do. They, For sure, they, would they, not know. You know, and then, but we—that's really the beauty. What in the artificial selection we have created with the dogs, when you have a dog that is properly educated and properly training and trust you, you can adapt your, your dog to any sort of condition. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's the beauty of we have. Yes. We have dogs that are helping blind people or people disadvantaged or living with you in the in the city but that dog that lives in the city totally normally can also be your friend for doing a sport together no and so it, you know with the blind people it's so funny now like so many of the schools claim that they only use positive reinforcement and but they have to say it because they have to do that public relations so they get money from donations but you cannot train a guide dog for blind person only with positive reinforcement this is absolutely not possible yeah but the the, the thing is when you like, no, no, like all this sample we have in psychology no you you don't you don't learn to not touch an iron because right <laughs> right because I, and there is no no you see you go to the kitchen and you are very close to to die in any moment right. and you are not really uh, really afraid you you can make your life normally with that that's yes that's thinking and that the totally dog, fine if the, thinking that if you do that kind of education to your dog the dog is going to be sad and destroyed right. because your dog is such it a will weak be animal afraid of everything yeah it's, it's, the, your dog is so weak animal that they are not going to overcome that situation but that's totally untrue yeah and the, what really uh, when when you analyze the behavior no we were talking a little bit about this uh, threshold of uh, avoidance no uh -huh. you can have physical avoidance and social avoidance no some dogs yes. you say hey oh sorry eh? and and some dogs are so sensible that you just look at them a little bit strangely and that's enough they're concerned more already than, yeah yeah eh? because normally a lot of these kind of people that claim to make everything super positive they have border collies mm -hmm. why is because border collie were meant to listen to you when they were 300 yes. meters away from you chasing the sheep in the highest drive possible and then the herder would say hey and the dog was whoa sorry yeah eh? because before no we they didn't have the technology or no just, very but, true eh? so they have to select this kind of dogs that are very sensible the threshold for avoidance social avoidance it was so low and then they show you that they do only positive but it's not real <laughs> you know? it's frustrating when you because, listen to it but uh, because for what what is a correction for the for your dogs for those kind of dogs for our dogs that do IGP that go to a helper really bravely go against him and try to control him and stop him and and then they must have this physical endurance that is one of the pities we cannot check now no, how they overcome that uh, uh -huh. resilience to the physical yeah. stress, distress. No, we because at the end we we wanted to create distress, not not even pain. But when you create this distress, you alter the nerve system of your dog, and then you ask your dog to make a Function. cognition, yes, and listen to you, yes, <laughs> and then again change again in another sort of drive. No, so 
what for those kind of dogs can be really wow. Uh, for us, it's not even a carries. No, you, you sometimes you say you dog, hey, good dog, right? <laughs> and they are no like when you see people, uh, no, like uh, in American football, no people cheering, oh, oh. Right, <laughs> you know, right, exactly. Maybe they do to us and just uh, saying, hey, good boy. <laughs> you, we go yes. to the hospital and they are happy, no. So it's like this different naturality, and also that's for me the beauty of the drugs, no, the, the, the diversity, yes, and that. You, you have to make a clear theory of mine, but my responsibility when I have a dog is to make the dog safe, to have a good life, to have a healthy life, and also to take care of his mental necessities. Something to do. And also we can do this kind of amazing thing that we that my dog can be my partner to do a sport. Right, right. No? Because you can have a dog that is just, I, I said, handle it. No, you know, is you just go to the park, go to just if you have a, a goat <laughs> or a cow, no, you you go to the to the uh, park with the doggies, and then they then then they go and you go to the veterinarian, and then they stay at yes. home, and you just handle the dog, no. And, and you keep buying the yeah, or you the latest new toy, thinking that you're doing something really good for your dog, yeah, yeah. and and then you have a dog that is educated, no. That is a dog that I create some in between a communication. That is what we can express as obedience. So I, the dog understand me and I understand him. No, and we create this in between knowledge that can come into a moment that we can even handle the emotional parts in our dog. Right. No. So I, when I have a real good communication, I said to my dog, "Hey, quiet. No problem. They believe." <laughs> no, right, right. That really and you can see how the dog feels at the moment, and it just it doesn't. That's right. Yeah. So then, mm. then from th from that point, we can jump to a dog that is our partner to do things together. That is really what makes the dog really special. You know, it's right, what, uh, right. Yeah, because I, I, the dog can help the blind people or can. Uh, be a police dog or a searching dog or a detention yes. cancer dog, but all that uh, cabane, we say the, the number of dogs that are in those system of analysis of, of programming is what we do. Actually. Yeah, uh, we, we have this mix uh, function uh, actually, you know, in, in our training. Uh, it's very in our international meeting of judges what we are. Are we a breeding system? A breathing program, or or we or are we a sport? Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. me, we have part of both things. No, is uh, of course some well, for be a sure part of both things because yeah. even if even if it's only sport, 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 then everybody is like, oh, that dog is really good. And next thing you know, he gets used for breathing. Yeah. yeah. So for sure, they are always together. Yeah, but right? it's like. When, 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 when to, to speak with somebody like you that have is no uh, not so common anymore to find a breeder that has his own genetical lines, no? And mm. I, I, you, I, I, I see you have dogs that maybe ten generations. Yeah, away. I don't even know how long. Yeah, but how yeah many? It's interesting, like yeah, this. but you, you, you have it, you know. Right. So you, you have such a big knowledge. And what has been your goal to have all the time better dogs? Dogs that are more at the table, yes. dog, that can fit to more different situations, that can be traveling in a plane, coming to Hong Kong, <laughs> coming out of the cage, and the dog is totally normal. Right. Try to do that with a wolf. Right. Try to do that with the what what, what the origin of, of what yeah, we yeah, had, yeah. no, our what we have been building up, and then. We have these wonderful animals that they come out of the box and they are totally normal. They they adapt in a split second and then you go directly for training after the flight and they they do. And they really want to. Yeah, but because it's what also yeah. imagine, no, you have uh, you know an earthquake and you have a dog that has to come into a plane, into right. a really stressful place and really a lot of noise and distress and they they know. 
I, you, you, we know the dogs, they really read the emotions. Oh, yeah. They, they read the energies and they read the emotions so, so efficiently, no? Because it's something really that was very useful when you are a, a hunter, <laughs> no? To see which one I can face or not. Yes. Try to hunt or not. And they pay or attention. Do, I mean, or that's the in thing. the relationship. And also we have evolved this situation in the dogs. And we, so you have this dog that in such a big distress, And then you ask him, so, yeah, busca. Exactly. <laughs> no, search. exactly. Right, and, right, and right. And they go directly. No? And we have that kind of dogs now. But it's something we have created. That's really such a beauty what we have created. No? Such a big culture. And that's really the, so, so beautiful that we, we are not recognized. Do you feel like we're losing them now? or? Yeah, well, we are now... Uh, I mean, like I don't know what's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, in, in few years. Uh, actually, what what is important is we move. <laughs> yeah. We cannot just be sitting and watching and just being sure that what we do is wonderful. We believe and we know, but we 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 really have not proved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you know, I, for my practice, I know. In, in now and then, we see more crossbreed because now is very nice for the from the people that they they don't want to buy a dog they just they want to adopt a dog that has been uh, in the shelter or in the street yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. but they come with this moral superiority now no so if you buy a dog you're a bad person if you right. go to a shelter no no it's it's, it's not there are different yes, things yes that's no? very true is a uh, and then we We see this this kind of animals that we oftenly now we see so much fear because I it's something we have not proved but in our when you have in any type of dog with a nice selection minimum selection about health about social behavior about uh, uh, aesthetics or minimum aesthetics and capability of function no mm -hmm. that is what yeah. is supposed to be a breed no. Um, and and the normal dogs are dogs that are mix or breed by mix of mixes, you know. So you you don't sometimes you cannot trace what For type sure. of dog are coming, and you very often see that oh this dog has been mistreated, and the people was not, and you see a lot of fear, a lot of stress, and it's not. It has it's, nothing. It's to a do. genetical exactly step back, yeah. you know, because what we do. Is we you know they they come to the wolf you you bring a wolf you try to do uh, many trainers no Just for sure you know some trainers that they have okay I'm going to have a wolf right. a real wolf and I'm going to educate him you can do nothing you know because the behavior is so fixed and so natural that you cannot make uh, right yeah so and you when you have that kind of dogs they, they are normally shy insecure no. And, and we have these kind of wonderful dogs now that we give it for granted. No, we 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 think that the dogs are like that for free. No, right. no, no. Very it's true. our responsibility because if we don't do this kind of artificial selection, that we must mind about the health, we must mind about the social adaptation. Yeah. we must mind about the possibility of learning, and we must mind uh, a way of they can have some fun and endorphins, you know, to have a, a right. real life. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And so we, we try to do that, you know, if it's like a sport, our sport, we can say thing a little bit the same, no? Uh, we are not going to make our dogs really bite people for real, and we are not, but I give that sense, Yes. You no? Know? It's like if you say, ah, oh, Don't don't take your son to karate. Exactly. Eh, I was he's just going to be, say the he's same. going to be yes. he's going to be hurt and pain. Yeah, but the mindset how uh, how honest that can, kind of person can be, how strong can be, you know, that that kind of uh, of things is what is not really understood and what we do. Right. You know? Important. But, but it's not really something that is there for free. We we it's a cultural Thing is such a beautiful cultural effort and we have created in such a long uh, short term and they this for this kind of situation 
even for these people <laughs> to breed dogs is a kind of <laughs> exploding the females, you know, or mm. You, mm. something so unlogical, so unfair. You, and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. You, you know, it's for, for me, it's, it's, as human beings, we have that, that tax to the dog. We, have, we must improve them. Right. And to improve the dog is what a breed means. No, the breed is nothing but a functional adaptation. Eh? And it's not a, because ah, I want a dog, some dogs for <laughs> luckily, but the, the type of dogs we all like, no, or for, we really are in love with <laughs> yes. are dogs that have this possibility of adaptation. And we are having in not so long time, every, every time better dogs, no? Remember, like uh, German Shepherds, nowadays in the good bloodlines of German Shepherd, every time we have less and less hip problems. Yeah. Because we've been historically checking the hips many times. Can appear, but also appear in the wolves. And also in the wolves, you have this, you know, is, is something that is in the nature, it's normal. Right. No? They have misses teeth, they have that kind of, that sort of problems. But we are checking now uh, in our in our breeds, we check that they don't have epilepsies. Even we do genetical tests in the well. Uh, nothing to explain for you. But then, you. but then, how many breeds end up almost on the verge of, of complete disaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know? because the also the, there also is, because I always of have human make a, selection, this, this, right? This kind of uh, different. Uh, point of view there is breeds that are very alive and that are evolving and and breeds that they just want to keep their shape but those kind of breeds depending on the breed they are in in, in very high risk right but the the really this kind of breeds that we love this utility breeds or for tracking or hunting or <laughs> sledding you no know, for you know for all the activities um they are very alive yeah. yeah, you go to Labradors. There are, nowadays, there is such a wonderful Labradors with such a nice uh, drive, such a nice no, self control. Especially like in the States, the hunting Labradors are amazing. They're amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I know, I know. I, you know, we like all sorts of yes, dogs. So we very follow. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Do we were. But checking. what do you think about the 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 gene pool being? You know, always, so let's say you breed always these Labradors to these ones and eventually becomes very close. Yeah, actually, natural selections tell you the truth. Then you start, if you narrow too much the pool gene, then you start having big problems. No? That's, uh, that's why it's so important. We, we have this, like, that's one of the beauties of the Malinois. Mm -hmm. That we are not just doing this, no, and we have a narrow, then, like like yourself, no. Can I step was very out. interested in your breathing. You have these these lines, you have, but, but then you say, okay, I'm going to jump to, to these yes. Belgian lines again, and then I come back, and then you know you you are yeah. you have this possibility, this variety. You you don't need to be close in your lines because there is nothing yeah. to check around. You see, you have your dogs, but suddenly you see something, okay, oh, this can be very interesting. I can, but you have that variety because we have this possibility, this open pool, no? Yeah. And, and that's one of the things, the good things in, in Mali, German Shepherds, in Labradors, I think for what I know, they also have very proud yes. uh, uh, sort of people in Border Collies. It's also amazing, no? The, the level of quality and diversity of, of border collies being the same breed you can find even yeah. in, in yeah. you know in, in some in some hunting so for me there is like two type of breeds no the That's breeds that are I very feel. alive and that are in a system of selection still by utility and dogs that are in this preserving the breed and because of the character and also in, in the best of the cases, they only go to shows and are nice dogs for yeah. companion. No? That the dogs are a little bit on risk, and and the dogs we really love, I think now they are in a super interesting moment. No, yeah, and especially in our program. Remember, we were talking about 2019. 
we did nothing new. <laughs> right. But but really follow the the frame the philosophic framework and the description that is on the rules. You know, and our description is that is on the rule. We must mind very much the emotional part in the dog. So now we read the emotional part, the technical part, how the dog really, uh, when you say uh, any command, no, just like sit, then the dog, mm, how he react to the command. If he is a positive reaction, or right. is a communication, or is a reflex, and you see some some problem that then I am, because then I you know the dog is going to be rewarded afterward, but then the reaction was bad. You know, right? And we must we, we, we value that it. now. Yes. And now that kind of the emotional part is going to mean a thirty percent of the notes. So if you value, if you evaluate also the helps, no, we we have done different sports, right. no, right? Like in obedience program, no, the FCI obedience program. If you do a little help, the exercise is zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a deduction of the qualification yeah, as I we know. have in our sport. It's zero. <laughs> it's I know. really terrible. Eh? You see what? Uh, but just a little help with the head, a little help with the hand. That then, if you evaluate that kind of things and also the emotional response of the dog and also the technical correctionness, perfect technical correction, and put that together, then <laughs> the qualifications become very, but for me, in the right direction, no? And also in 2019 was like the first, this FMBB you were mentioning was like the first competition with the new rules, that really the first big competition with the new rules, where this, the, the FUS was 15 points oh, instead of right. 10, that's right. and the seed was five points instead of 10. And, and also, that's when you added the percentage specifically for technical, emotional, and, 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 and handler help, yeah. and, right? Yeah, so then when you put that in value, but it, there is, uh, for me, it's always when you, the, the points are not so high, it's sportive, because if suddenly come a dog that we have in our mind, our picture, no? When I see the imagine of a dog, I am very positive towards the dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I think they can do it. No, but we must follow the dream. No? Right. That's the one. Right, 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 right. No? That's the dream. That <laughs> is. True. No, so a dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And nowadays it's it's a, it's a dream. But I think that that is sportive because if if it suddenly come the dreams, it's not going to have one or two points more. Yes, he's going to he's going to have the dream. He's going to have the the respectful space. No, you know it's a so yeah. Of course the 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 points. But I think always in FMB video. Is like uh, we he, he, this being always like this, this this example of of following the rules. Actually, right. we were not uh, interesting. We were not inventing nothing, no. But oh, in the rule set that we are going to, that the dog must be happy, concentrate, relax, and then <laughs> we take that in consideration. Before we have it in the rules, but maybe we didn't went really deeply on that. Right. And yeah, and but there was was nothing new actually, no. It just that's uh, interesting. When did you start with the judging? Oh, <laughs> was something I was uh, <laughs> was a trump from my wife. <laughs> that yeah, <laughs> send the, the applications for me. <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> because Good. I I like it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I thought, well, maybe it's, uh, no. That she did, and and we have. Uh, the, a very intense exam was uh, for me was very very nice education uh -huh. those days. Actually, one of the sad things I am a little bit upset with some organization that they step back, uh, you know, and, and don't keep that. Uh, I have to to make a very deep um, education and also because uh, I, I was helping assistant judges many years also as translator in okay. some competition with okay. very nice the very nice judges i would have that that really super pressure and super <laughs> luxury to be together yeah, with them at right the beginning yeah. before i was judging and i and you and you know when we are professional trainers we have this is i think is our task even in the oh, fci sure. in, in sure. the fci 
it's so well and so nice describe the knowledge that is supposed to have a, a judge before he can apply for eh? and then we we must have knowledge about uh, physiology of the dog, psychology of the dog, and not, not only the training, no? and also right. this broad, broad education about dogs. Um, so I, I think it's really, really in the right way. And you have to have several dogs in in the level IGP-3 before you can apply. No? In Spain, we need three dogs, IGP-3, and some have some night results uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. to, yeah, to, right. to, be, to be considered as possible candidate for becoming a judge. So I had to do that education and then was very nice because they asked us just to evaluate only championships, no big championships. Oh, wow. uh, so it's, for me, it's when it becomes, this, this become very, very interesting, no, actually. Um, and then uh, very, very, I, I think was like, 10 years ago was no was not so long ago okay no, no, okay not so long ago because you know i really respect this figure of, of being a judge and the responsibility of of a judge is so so big that i, I think i was not really prepared no but right. yeah, it's uh, when you respect something so much is uh, is uh, really i i thought that's I very not cool because then you you respect the dogs, you respect the competitors, you, you know, it's a, yeah, we it's are a very good thing. We, exactly. we know everything, no? You, you, yes. see, uh, you can yes. see every help, no? Maybe from the outside you don't see the help, but when you are come where you're close, you see the help and you see the really a split second of uh, emotion that could be a little bit more free or more open in that behavior. You take it. You take that in consideration, no? In the evaluation and you to have... Uh, like a very good job, that must be a clean job. No, you right. know, there is, there cannot be not even a moment of that. That's why it's so uh, uh, so unfair that we, anybody is pointing at us as not being respectful for the dogs. They don't, they have no idea. I know how that's a very that, very that, upsetting that, thing. They don't know how deep we go now. Right. In that. <laughs> right. How how uh, how complex. But we want dogs. You know that dogs that are really powerful, and that can have that. That's the, the unfortunate. The it's it's a. Yeah, I have no idea of like we the, that exact thing that you're saying, that we care so much about how the dog feels, and and put so much thinking of how to train yeah, it's better. A, actually. You know, we were nobody talking, does this. We, we we are talking about that. No, actually, when we have, when we do a sport, we have very well adapted social. What first? What we do when we enter this world? We do BH. We right. check the social behavior, but not in a normal situation, but very intense checking. Right. Right. Eh? Right. And that kind of very intense checking. First, we check that the dog has the possibility of learning and express some conditionings, but must be positive. <laughs> I can, is in my, is, is uh, the task of any judge, if I see any bad behavior from the owner to the dog, is disqualification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No argument about right. that. Right, as end of story. Yeah, as yeah, you yeah. see any just little sign of disrespect to the dog, you stop, actually. You know, some even in the in the big trials, you if you say no to a dog, it's disqualification. <laughs> right. You know how deep we go. Right. But we do that in a dog that can perform the protection with dominance and strength and really trying to stop the helper and being able to change between drives and become social to you very easily and change in a split second between different parts of his brain, no? because it's what we play with. Right. Eh? You have right. dominance or aggression activity, but really the concept of what we really search and is And the passive the and the active and the control. Yeah, and it's the like protection is always, we start with obedience in drive, but the dog, we know all our dogs know where the where helper they're is. going, exactly. So, but they, they must listen to you, and then when they come, they must make a confrontation. And that confrontation 
is dominance, is like what really what it's mean to be is don't move, don't move until my handler come. Mm -hmm. You stay here mm -hmm. until my handler come. That's the real yeah. meaning yeah. of what we do. Yeah. You know? So from that situation, then the dog must make an obedience, a cognition. They, they have to change for that behavior that can be instinctive or, you know, very yes. extensive drive. Then they have to do an obedience. Then from that obedience, we put the dog to guarding. Then they start in another mood. They want to hunt. No? From that hunting, the dog really try to stop. It's a no? chase it was, and stop. Yeah. yeah. The, dog, the guy is trying to run away and the dog wants to stop the guy for you. And he must have a, a solid grip so he does as less harm as possible. Right. Eh? That's really the, the, the goal. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. For sure. So for sure. We, we, and then the guy stop and then the dog has to listen to you and then change the drive. For a hunting drive, he start with uh, another dominance toward the helper to say don't dare to move and from that they start with a compact and they has to overcome this psychological pressure and and lucky now we cannot test the physical pressure uh, because we don't have the, right. the, the soft uh, stick, uh, stick that was very uh, not harmful for the dog but was able to create some stress and from that situation a social pressure from the helper and also some distress that we create with this soft stick yeah the, the mistake for me was that was very noisy but not making really <laughs> no, no harm but then mm. from that situation uh, yeah because sometimes if the public see true, you, you true. hear this far far yeah um, but we were not really hurting the dog yeah. because most of us even <laughs> do that oh, for, for sure. fun, no? For we sure. touch and we make the, with the soft stick, we hit ourselves and we, there's no pain, but there is a lot of noise. But we create some distress. And then with that distress, the dog has to listen to you right. immediately, you know? And then again, become an obedience. So we, we are switching between mental parts of a dog and we think we are doing something normal, but it's amazing what we do. Right. You know, to have the dog in a super high drive and then plop, eh? and the super good trainers <laughs> as yourself, you go and you see, wow, the dog was super high and then boom, block. That's self control. It's the beauty. No, yeah. for sure. But, that, but it's something that you create with your training, with the design of your training, but because we have such a super nice dogs today that can do that. You know, and, and the then. The training, like because of this, I mean, you're explaining it so beautifully the like this kind of training the more we understand that the better training we can do for any dog outside the of sport course, programs I, you, know, you know this is as, the real, as professional the real i always thing. i always joke with my wife as professional this is our investigation and development where where you put the techniques in these dogs and that you try later to put right. it in normal dogs. Yeah, right. Of course, we have such a, you know, we, we have, we use That's so many I... mental tools actually, no? Now we have in this concept, no? We, we use mental tools in our interpretation. When, of when we have, like I have sometimes these conversations with, with the trainers that they never do sports, they don't understand sports. And, and this kind of conversation, they, they can never understand the value of, of what dog sport like IGP can bring to you as a dog trainer. Like yeah. you become a dog trainer on a different level when you get to that place to understand all, all the things that you explained so, yeah, so nice, I, you know? I, I always say, no, it's like, <laughs> imagine, oh, wow, to learn German is so ugly. Yeah, so I don't like that. I, but mm. Why? Because you don't speak German. Right. If you speak German, you fall in love. Then or you, Bulgarian, yes, or yes, Spanish, yes, you know? Yes, yes, oh, yes. So, no, that because, why? Because you don't really understand. When you really, uh, when, when you really do understand and you tell me that, this is bad, but tell me somebody with good results, this experience, this 
crazy love, actually, no? Because right. <laughs> for us, it's crazy. You are teaching people, you are training dogs, you are, and then for fun, <laughs> we you're, get, you're reading right. and we <laughs> still keep on <laughs> training our dogs, you know? That, so there is something really that uh, if somebody comes and is really no, like yourself and you say, no, the sport is, but the more we are in it, the more we love it, is for us is our passion, is our way of life, the more respect we have it. You never find the people that has that and say, no, no, this is a disaster. But nowadays, our, with the interpretation of IGP, it's, it's amazing, it's so, so difficult. You must have a dog that has self-esteem, self-securedness in the tracking and totally autonomy because you are 10 meters away. Correct. Yeah? And the dog must be focused, attentive, concentrated, intensive, you know, all these adjectives we evaluate when we see the dog. And that same dog must be very sensible to you, very willing to please, very fast in their exercises, and very powerful also. And all this adjective again, but in a really super controlled way that the dog is really with another dog, totally free. We cannot, in IGP-3, you know, you, we cannot even touch the, the collar. Right, right. You cannot say the dog, stay with me. Right. The dog is totally free. <laughs> so, it's, and we see this happy attitude in the dog, joyfulness, and we check for any detail of this distress, and then we punish it so much nowadays. And that same dog that is happy, active, sensible to you, come to the protection and it's our dominant dog <laughs> that hold the guy and really stop the guy and then listens to you so clearly. So it's really impressive the it sort is. of dog that our program try to find. And if we embrace and we really believe in, in, the, in the program, we are, I, I, for me, it's, it's so clear, we are improving dogs. For sure we are improving dogs and we are improving training and there you always, see, there always gonna be some something going on that it's bad. There always will be some stupid ass trainer wow, that will do stupid you, things. You, you can, you but can find that the stupid to do, missing exactly. Everything. It's not to do with the program. It's not to do with dogs. No, no. It's just no, no, they are they, stupid. They are people. They, nobody, out there. nobody notice how how intense we are in that protection. But you know what I was thinking to, to ask you about the... Because that definitely 2019 FMBB was a, a big surprise to a lot of people and a big shift. And I personally really like it because I didn't need to see the competition to, to like it. I, that's how I think about training anyway. Yeah, but yeah. what do you think at the time when... when it was happening. How were the competitors? Were, were they understanding what's going on, or or was it like really just a complete mess? You know, like um, what what do you think? Yeah, uh, that that competition was uh, was very very tricky because I I I lost a lot of supposed friends on the way. <laughs> so not yeah, many yeah. understood what's happening, but it's uh, it's. It, it, you know, the, the problem is for many people, they do the sport, but they've never read the rules. Right. No, they have never written the... Right. right and, uh, if you don't read the rules and you don't really understand, just you just need to go just to the first uh, page of the rules. Don't read anything else, just the preamble. No, just read it and really understand it and take it. I really believe, you know, I think it can be even evolved. But as I said, we are in a, in a framework, a philosophy framework, no? and we describe that uh, is part of our task to work the dog. I do really believe mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, the, I, I'm not, <laughs> I, I, I'm not uh, writing the, the, the rule book, but for me it's so, intelligent analysis what we are doing and creating you know and with these three phases and this interpretation of the when you really re read the rules our sport is about uh, respect to the dog and about communication 
towards the dog. No, a, a lot of people have uh, mechanical training. I say, no, a little bit. No, you, you have a dog that is looking up because he's looking to the armpit. Right. And looking up because you have a little stick to tell them to have the the head higher. No, no, no. It's not what this means. You know, it's sometimes you have this kind of training that you want to fake a reality to 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 lie to a judge to present a, a communication. No, no. What we want is a dog that has willing to please, willing to be paid in some sort sure. of form. Sure. And wants to have eye connection with you. If a dog uh, is, <laughs> I really feel stupid talking, uh, telling you uh, these kind of things because <laughs> you are the, the, uh, really a master. So yeah, but no, you know, but for, that's a really good le, conversation like, to have. When, when, when a dog is able to look to your eyes, it's because it's, it's creating a deep communication with you. Right. That's why we want the dog not looking up because it looks fancy. No, they look up because they want to read your eyes. Yeah. They want to read what you are telling them. They are really willing to say, hey, what we do? Yeah? If you have a dog that has pressure, cannot keep the eyes within you because that's uh, it's a technological yeah, yeah, yes. re uh, response. True. If you put pressure, the dog cannot look to you. Yeah? If you just in, in the recall, if the dog is not really confident to you, yeah, it's, we have this situation no like the dumbbell and the and the recalls the dog has to really trust you eh? because to be able to come and look to your eyes directly is because the dog is communicating very well with you and he is holding something in his mouth and bring it to you and if he's looking to your eyes is because he's understanding right and he's communicating no, and you cannot fake and that. And he's feel comfortable communicating. Yeah. If the dog is not with you, the dog is not looking at right. you. <laughs> and if, if the dog is under pressure, will be never because uh, his natural reaction will be to take the eyes out of you. He's going to show submission. No, that that pictures we all know when we have dogs. So in our program, we want to see communication trust with his handler. But let me ask you this, how many judges do you think understand ah, but communication? No, no. They, 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 is, is, because is I tell you my education. thinking, my no, no. thinking is that I think of, uh, a lot of judges, I, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of judges are very used to that picture of how so many trainers train that it's all fake picture, that it's not, that it's not what we really looking for. So yeah. when you get used to that picture yeah. and you see it but, uh, different, you almost feel like the, the right way is wrong because it just, yeah, but, it uh, becomes an I, exception, well, you know, I, right? I, you know, I listen to your podcast very, uh, so uh, very eagerly <laughs> so mm. when, and I, you have this, uh, this nice converse, conversation with Ari. Ah, uh, yeah. And Ari was just telling that. Yeah. Hi. Right. Yeah, he was telling that. But I was totally so agree with him. I, it, uh, he, you say, no, like a lot of people do, like yeah, some, some sort of, and then one is doing their proper concept. And then we can even punish the one that was doing, doing right. the proper right, right, concept. Right, right, right. Because it feels strange. And then because it's very typical to have a dog look into the sky. No, no, it's, it's not that. Right. Because you you can create that picture through muscle memory, no? You know, when, when you create this, you put the line down, but you don't have the really communication. That is that a dog that has the willing to communicate with you and is in drive, but has the knowledge to be in that side. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Or you put the dog just in, the, and you really like make in a it. box and exactly. then the dog is doing like... A, it, like happens like in agility training no you you see uh, this technique of a slalom technique mm -hmm. no how mm -hmm. some dogs learn to do the slalom without no uh, cognitive understanding but just muscle memory right no? you have right. this pool and then they close it and then they make the thick thack no so that that can be, be applied to our healing but it's not what it's meant to be what is meant to be is that I want to create communication, but I am 
able to have the self-control and the knowledge to be in the proper way with the right communication, with the right emotion, actually. No? So, so do you think a lot of trainers are starting to, uh, yeah, well, to, to you know, pay the, attention? Uh, it's uh, really, I think that is coming. And also like the, the, the trainers we admire and, and I think they are getting the good results are in that, yeah. in that concept. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's I feel like the women trainers have a little bit better feeling for this. <laughs> yeah. That's my feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, well, uh, actually, that, that's uh, the, the beauty, no? This, we were talking about this emotional part, no? So, yeah, they, they come, we can be a little right. bit more brute, and they, <laughs> right. the, the women can have that uh, sensibility. And for me, it's wonderful. But what we must analyze is that we are having that kind of dogs that have that social behavior and that sensibility, but still they are very powerful animals. Mm -hmm. They are very healthy and they are very powerful, you know, and they are very adaptive. And that is what really is uh, really from that, even we, we are helping the society, no? For sure, and yes. We, and uh, that's really... The, the sad thing no in the situation we have we have we are improving the the health the physical condition the power of a dog so we, we want a dog that is because we have to put so much effort so much training so we are so careful now with the health I love of our dog listening dogs. to this I get excited just listening to this but it's <laughs> so true yeah yeah but because what for me you know and for sure for, for you what what is important a dog that Star, we start since puppy. We put that effort. We put the dog three years training in our right. sport until we come to uh, uh, the first trials. You no, know? and we being careful with the genetic, with the health, with we check hips. We we give the best food. We keep them in training. We we breed them at home because we need them later to be able to go to from you. Like, like you put my you put your dog in a flight and come to Europe yes. normally. Yes. And then in two, three days, the dog must be 100%. And yeah. even with a super result, you were able to achieve. That's that's not normal. <laughs> that, yeah, you yeah. Know? very so, true. So it, it's, it's something that really is uh, what we really must defend because we are improving so much uh, our dogs, you know, the characteristics, the, the we, we want dogs that are in that level of, uh, of uh, results with two years, but they are improving in the years. No, that right. really the people I really like to follow is the people that are able to have results with the dog, and then even being able in the term, in the time to improve. Because then you are not lying to your dog when you have done twenty times IGP three. <laughs> the, the dog knows right. that when you come to the field, you are not going to be able to lie to your dog. You cannot punish. And you cannot reward. So <laughs> eh, the only thing that is real is the co connection and communication with your dog, eh? and the the enjoy of the dog for or doing that task for the enjoyment of doing it. Right. Pleasing right, you, right. 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 But also because they enjoy, and and we check that when you make you know our system. No, we need to go to selections, then you go to the championship, and then the, the same year, the the same dog. If you are lucky and you, you want to have your dog in that idea for many years because you put so, so much effort. So who is going to be more careful than us to not create uh, chronic stress? No? So I will tell you uh, a little twist of, of this conversation that it's so upsetting. So like we would have in the, in the States, I don't know mm. for Europe, but in the States right now, there were few few scientists did some study. They just searched on the internet dog trainers. Yeah, it's like okay, you're a male or female trainer. You're whatever age group, and then they start to see. Well, are you training? IGP dogs or ring sport dogs or and if you are doing certain things 
I mean, this is even like the University of uh, Davis in California, like a big, very, very legit university. Mm -hmm. And they would do this. And now they're teaching when, when they go through their program, the students, that if somebody is a dog trainer and is training dogs for IGP, it's automatically put in a certain category, a type of person that is a very bad person <laughs> and is doing yeah. horrible things to the dogs. Amazing. And you should avoid it at all costs if you have a dog and you're searching for training. This is where we are today in um, the States. Well, actually, that's like, a, like the same, no? how, how that, that's one of the beauties of our sport. Right. How many wonderful people, you know, in this sport that have this really, for, for us, no, we, we, we share this kind of craziness. We are from different backgrounds, cultures, and we have this same passion and, and we... And that desire to get better, yeah. like every day. Yeah. Like, and, and also, you, you, uh, you, you can check in any other sport and, and you, you'll see not such a big uh, effort to describe the welfare correct. in the dog. 100% you know, correct. The positive attitude in such a different task. And nowadays, the dog, when you come to there, the dog is totally free. Right. The dog has the right. You can lie to a dog two, three times, <laughs> four times. But in our dogs that go to the high competitions, do the official training. When you go to the official training, you cannot even take a leash. You cannot even have a little stick to tell the, the dog where the position mm -hmm. is going to be clear. Not, you know, that, that kind of things right. that we are being so careful now. And we put it to ourselves and we believe it because we believe it. So, and, and how, uh, how many people in this sport you, you know that they don't love dogs? Mm -hmm. right. Nobody. Not, it's not possible. Nobody. You, you, we are here because we love the sport and the people that uh, give you the reference and give you like the, the advantage in the training all the time, how is the training going? Now, everything more natural, more positive, not more knowledge, more clever techniques to create in the positive expression of the education, you know, but no, never say, no, you know, it's uh, this, this kind of fight against the, the, the tools. But the tools, really, when you come to a, a normal training, you don't, you don't see them. Right. You, you, we, we can train without tools. I, right. You know, we, I, actually, we, we, we have that by law, but we've been training without tools so many years, you know, because I, we, we think you, you can, in our sport, must be a sport. Another thing is if, you, if we need to control a dog or education, but in our sport, mm -hmm. we don't need the tools. And actually, I really, is in the evolution of the training, now we, we even sometimes have that problem, you know, that we make our dogs so clever that can, we can low even the, intensity of uh, drives right yeah you, you, yeah. Um, yeah no no it's very true there there is like uh there's actually uh, man i i just have like five thoughts at the same time <laughs> so i don't know where to go now hopefully i remember them all but with the like like there is people when you use like let's say let's take the electric color a, a lot of people use it but when you use it and you only rely on that, that you're going to make your dog active, that you're going to make yes. your dog want to, I, that you're going to make, like this is all uh, uh, not what we are trying to accomplish. No. We want the dog to want to, yeah. not to be made to. And That's it's right. a huge difference. No, because, you know, it's, it's like... But it's, it's in the rules, <laughs> actually. Right, right. You know, it's uh, so. But I even if dog, it's not just IGP. Uh, if, if, I, if I want the dog that wants to create and, and make and, and please not to avoid an escape. You know, 
Do you know uh-huh, what I mean? Uh-huh. No? So you can have dogs with a really old technique, but always there is, um, you can see the problem. Right. No? You know? Right. The, because uh, you, you can see maybe then the dog is pushing too much t- to the handler. They, they in certain moments, the dog should be more open. You know, th- this kind of emotional details that you cannot. Uh, but some people is so skillful that you <laughs> very slowly can see it, but it's the task when you go to World Championship, no, to just right. check all those. And and we have like the picture of of the positive and really what is meant to, and you see that everything was positive in those talk. What is uh, for me? What is really the difference is that we we must create the emotional framework. No, we must make our dog happy, mm-hmm. and then we create the teaching. You know, because then you know it's the emotional association. No, right. Eh? Then you you make the drive. You make your dog happy and willing to work, and then we start teaching. And you're starting from no. a very different angle than by I I don't know even what to call it, but really there is this whole theories of how I mean I'm sure you know it's like okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna make my dog want to and and of course when you have some you something aversive the dog is like okay I, I but that's not yeah that's, by the, you you can the problem is with through irritation you can fake activity right you know but uh, it's is but we don't we don't want to analyze that actually. No, what we want is the dog that is willing to please and is and the two are very easy to see. To 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 For I think they're very uh, easy yeah. to see yeah, when but you know what you, you watch. Know, you know, but, but the problem is when when you think that the only way no I you find sometimes in in like the old uh, system of training no you think the dog what this ideal concept that we are willing to to achieve. The dog will not be able to get it, right? But we believe in dogs, right? You know, right. I I really think that the dog can do what the rule said. I don't have to fake activity. I don't have to hide an an evitation to look like active. You know, I don't have to create irritation so that creates this exactly uh, this um, you know is uh, well in, in psychology has a name. No, it's like. I know I know the name for in Spanish, sorry, <laughs> but it's this opening process, no? So mm-hmm. you create that irritation, and re- release can fake right. activity, right? No? Exactly. But, but it's not what it's meant to be. This is not the utility dog. The utility dog is a dog that is willing to please, listens to you, yeah. do directly, openly, and uh, free of will, actually, no? So that's uh the and, and our rules are in the, that direction is we are not praising that we are praising the natural and the really willing to please of the dog no some training can fake that situation but it's it's always like uh, the positive view of the of the dogs a lot of people uh, don't train a dog like a good dog you train the dog because you think it's not going to have drive enough of energy or enough, he's gonna show you then, the middle finger or wh- or whatever you know and so but really the people in the training that i really respect my friends from belgium my you know this this really for me some some people that is reference they really believe in dogs they they believe they dog can do it you know? right if not then i have the skills to <laughs> make a fake reality but um, we like uh, like in the protection no why you sometimes people create like uh, this kind of instability in some sort of surface so the dog is a little bit unstable mm-hmm. and then looks right. like he's right. having more uh, aggression but we don't want to see aggression we want to see dominance we want a dog that is secure self secure and stops the the guy in a clear manner but not just like, eh? you know, it's really that balance. But now we have what you said, no? Maybe people see a dog that is showing dominance and they don't understand. They can think the dog is lacking aggression. <laughs> right. You know, it's uh, this, this. It's not easy, this but it's not easy for, a, for, for, for 
a lot of people it's not easy to yeah to, because to it's do. so standardized like you know it's not 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 easy and also what do we i think you talk when you have a dog that is socially very strong and can show real dominance then it's not so easy for training <laughs> right but that's that should be the goal and for me that should be what we really must give the space for that kind of difficulty no because we are with all <laughs> the psychological tools in the animal no so if we just work in some kind of uh, part but not the whole picture at the whole yeah. evolution then we should praise you no know, that that kind of behavior you no know, in and that kind of training that is more difficult you no know, is when you teach a dog to really teach tracking in the positive way or number work in the positive way it takes so long that's thing you no know? and the old days how you you teach you no know, well let's say that's thing. 30 years ago yes you how long you take to teach a dumbbell two days three days a week you know so now we are in this kind of we prepare the interchange and from that interchange we start and then we start and then we get so many yeah, it's fractions, a big it's a know? big production today for yeah. sure that's for sure but that's amazing and that's the really the pity that is not respected no the technique the psychological techniques we are putting in our dogs the the basic material we are having in our dogs and the how the, he, these concepts are evolving and how because now is knowledge no before you you like like everything in science no we are <laughs> putting a lot of science in what we do in oh, with for our sure. dogs now but you no know, is and and we are evolving so much you know is in but in every aspect no you you can see how much is changing now like the the training in the swimmers the training even the 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 people that uh, how they we are changing our, our system of feeding you know the right. like uh, you know like uh, before oh to to come into we were talking with your wife about the exposure to the cold no oh, wow that's you're going to be so sick if you no and now we see that if you go and you you do your plant right. then the dopamine really rise and the immune system really improve and you know so i think the the science is changing and and we are open to improvements and and, res and what we are doing actually is respecting our natural behavior our physiology you no know? and the, so when we do if, if we really want to improve the dogs we we must do it improving that kind of things you no know? i want a dog that really wants to listen to me that has more self control that is more stable that can be in different environments adapt very well right. and is healthy since i have him until i stop training with him because he's uh, he's like in the age you, you decide that he, he is not so healthy anymore but we all like this kind of dogs that has been champions no or that they have good results maybe when they were maybe two years and then with nine years no we Oh, we have sure. some, yeah, some yeah, that yeah. kind of reference, no? That that's, for me, th then you cannot do all this difficult sport without the dog really putting it and really enjoying what he's doing, no? So that's the real factor, no? We we don't fake reality. Even we we expose our relationship with the dogs and the capability of adaptation and and the way we train. And we have our the obligation of the judges is to to be aware of that and be so intensive against anything that is not really respectful to your dog. Right. No, and in the level that you, you, we have seen, no, that go to a championship, then uh, a lady say no to a dog because he was going to do a jump and she said no, don't do that jump, and <laughs> we have that yeah. interruption directly. Yeah, no, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was no, no very commentary. true. So, yeah, it's uh, really when they say something wrong about what we do, is because they don't really understand what we are doing. But totally. they're not even trying to understand. That's the upsetting thing. Yeah, then nobody trying to understand that. But that I think is um, we have 
not really we we have not have done our work we have not really proof that what we are doing is so good for the dogs right yeah that me and you we know and and i totally know if you see a dog that is coming from our type of selection and normal dogs or dogs without breed you see such a yeah, huge huge difference, difference. for sure yeah, such for a sure. huge difference but we have not proved that uh, scientifically you know it's it's something still to be done and also mm, we we are but all the canine science people they're not interested in that they're really just stuck in this because it brings like like their yeah, but peers, it, everybody, you know that, they have agreed you know, on it's, something. It's, it's, it, it, it has come even into into the education of the kids. No? Yeah, for yeah, yeah. So it was something that we were watching in our education of our kids, but now a lot of uh, scientific people is saying, "Hey, we are." Our dogs, our kids, <laughs> sorry, our kids are becoming too weak. They cannot, they cannot face the real world. Right. They are really under under a lot of stress very easily because we have keep them such in a cloud that then we come, they come to the real life and they yeah, cannot they're handle not prepared the situation. to go to work. But, and, but that's that's our task, uh, fathers. No, <laughs> we are we are fathers, and this is, that's really your obligation not to be nice to your kid, but. To prepare him for the future, no. To try to give a good education right. and to prepare them for the future, no. And, it and is that a small, interesting. That the small education is what we do with our dogs. Yeah? Of, of course, I enjoy. I really, you and me, we really love dogs. But my my dogs are not a substitute of my sons. Right. No. I, we have four sons, and they we we love our dogs, but. We, we, they are not. We are not having dogs because we don't have friends, right? Or, or because we have nothing better to do, or because we don't have family. No, we have dogs, but because they are a complement, so amazing complement that really is a way to enjoy nature, you know. And uh, uh, it's also. I mean, I can see how some people really they just, you know. Like there is a lot of people that are lonely and struggle, and they yeah, need that dog. But and that, it's, that, it's that's a really good thing, you know. It's exactly. really respectful. Exactly, and it's one of the amazing utilities that the dog have for the society. Exactly right. You know, yeah. And there is a, really a lot of studies about having a dog helps you to have less heart attack, less arthritis right. problem, less right. depression problem. You know that that's that that's really science. There is that's really proven. But if we leave the dogs only on that, that can be uh, done by, uh, you know, like uh, uh, by a cobaya. You can breed loving cobayas, mm. and then you don't need the dogs. Mm. You can breed loving uh, rabbits. Sure, 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 sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because dogs is something that they can do, but was not really. You know, it's, it's something super respectful and really we love it. And we also in, in our practice, we do therapy dogs. And especially my wife is, is super, super good in that. <laughs> and uh, there, there, there are times where we have to do some, like, like the dogs have to know also that there is, okay, we, we're, I, you like it. Just like how you can play a, you know, any game, right? You can play any game, but the game has rules and you break the rules and there is yeah, a penalty but, for the breaking the rules. Yeah, but the thing is when when you do that, we 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 do it with so naturally, you know? Right. That it is uh, and and we do it with uh, so healthy brain dogs <laughs> that they have no problem with right. it. Right. Right. You know, the, the the problem is when you think that your dog is so weak because you think your dog is, you know, when when I when when we talk each other, I can think that you are an intelligent person and we can go deep. And even if I say something that is not really pleasing, but you you're going to understand and you are going to overcome, 
or I think that you're stupid, and then I have to say everything very softly, right. very, and very careful. carefully. Yeah. No, but uh, I I think my my dogs are super. <laughs> yeah. You you know what I mean? So ah uh, okay ah uh, these are the rules, daddy. Uh, okay, I I cannot bite the. <laughs> The, the 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 food in the kitchen or I cannot really destroy that ah, okay I cannot okay no problem okay I have toys because to play. sometimes <laughs> you know yeah. ah, okay I have to release because then you give me another one and then we can keep on playing ah, okay no problem so right. or I can think that my dog is so weak that if I give a correction then I'm going to give such a big problem to my what what we are thinking what, what you are thinking about the dogs are you thinking that they are so weak Right. You know, when in the nature they have to really struggle for their lives, they have to really hunt, they have to really survive. And we, in the best scenario, we think the dogs, we have changed from that natural selection 17, uh, no, 35,000 years, I, I heard in some, but really the, the old analysis, I think, is 14,000 years, no, no more. You know? Yeah, it's, still, it's, it, it, it's in the we, in the evolution. Know, it's nothing. Yeah. Right. We we have the same animal. We have we are trying to destroy dogs. <laughs> you know, we are thinking about this weak animal, but they are not. Right. You know, you, if you love your dog, you think it's so weak that if you give a little correction, it's going to be crying all dura during weeks and destroyed. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Really, the the. The, when when you what 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 really has you have to analyze analyze is that you want to have a moral superiority when you say that not because the dog is needing that or you know but in this sometimes in this sort of people as I said they don't know how positive we are right we have such a, an evolved and amazing positive style of training today that they have <laughs> no idea. But of course, we we have to have to make this a sport to make this uh, teaching. We need to have the dogs in control. Rely. But, in, but in, in the nature, have you ever seen a mother? You have you are a really good breeder, and you know how positive the how how the mother teach the puppies. Give a clicker, give food, give right. Is, is there a, in between the dogs, the real language in the real dogs, in the natural right. dogs, is there any positive teaching between them? The actual teaching is not, yeah, it's not. And, <laughs> you know, but and, but and this, what, this is what the problem does is, <laughs> you know, when, when we respect our dogs, when we love our dogs, when we uh, really respect the nature of our dogs, our first act is to understand them. Right. And to really teach them in the natural way and respectful way and in the nature how much how 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 much uh, positive learning do you find you, you know but that's you, uh don't you think this is a big problem in europe right now and i don't think i have any advice or solution for it you know it's uh, like um, you, we we have uh, I, again, no, it, it's like it's coming through education, but uh, the science is evolving and the knowledge is evolving. So now, even even in the education of the kids, that now there is some warning alarms. No, say, hey, be careful. We are, we we must create resilience into our kids. Right. We cannot do everything right. cotton. Right. No. So if we do everything so nice or positive, of course. We believe in the positive explanation because it's science. It's going to be more efficient in the long term. That's why we also do it, right? No, because it's more efficient. No, if if you if if I give you a nice food but I make you eat it, then you like it. then you don't like that food anymore, <laughs> you know? right? And so we convince our dogs only to do the things that they love and because. Even there is some balance, no? You must do this, but it's for us like our life, no? You must be an educated person. Even if you get angry with your uh, neighbor, don't shoot to the neighbor or whatever. And there is no 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 problem because your education is giving you that possibility to overcome 
that's that problem. You go to in the traffic, you have somebody uh, making flags to you to really go, and then, okay, do you don't go, eh? or you can become crazy or going, no? But your first thought is an animal thought, and maybe you want to become violent, and you are able to control yourself, and there is no problem. There mm -hmm. is no problem. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, and, and we have, you know, like we were saying in the sport, no, ah, don't, don't run so much, Ivan, because then you are going to be sore. Then right. don't you don't do so much push up because you are going to be tired. No, no, because then you are ne never going to be willing to do a sport again. But no, <laughs> you, you know you you have your goal, you you have the the knowledge, and also you are respecting yourself as human being, being physical, and being emotional, and be intellectual. But we have everything, no? And, and we believe our dogs can have everything, no? And they can overcome that sort of problems in a, in a good way because we are the first one, and even the dog, when they do their sport, they have the freedom to go. They can Correct. go. Correct. <laughs> that's that's in the exactly first right. second. Yes. They, eh, in our, in our like the moment trials, he says, I don't want to do it, there is nothing. No chance. That's no it. chance. The, the judges, we are there to make sure that if the dog don't, yeah. is not happy and is not willing to do it, we stop. We stop. We don't. Nowadays, you you don't see if you see a sad dog, like in the like high competition, is not even that, no. But if you see a dog, we we have that moral obligation. If we see the dog that is not willing to be, we can interrupt. Right. And and. And we we have done it. I, I have done it. <laughs> yeah, so no, no, sorry. Today your dog is not comfortable here. I think your dog is limping a little bit. Then we must yes. stop. Yes. You, yes. you know, of it's, course. So uh, it's when, <laughs> as you were saying, no, like the the people that we are doing the sport, that we are bad pe person to the dogs, or we are really bad persons. But it's, it's really <laughs> incredible. It's really sad, no, as you said very clearly. You know, really like in I don't know how it is in Spain, but like something that hurts us right now. Well, not not so much here, but I'm sure we are getting in the states a little bit of the the same wave but in europe at this point and in europe i mean like specifically germany austria switzerland the the you know the you you have the the those activists have taken over so much yeah yeah that right now even like even if you if you want to make a video of dog training or you want to write a book of yeah. dog training you're telling lies to people yeah. you're not honest about yeah. well, what actually, real dog training you is know, like and it, this is also like very it, dangerous in, in my practice no i you you have this situation now i have it by law i have it by law no, because even I can lose my license. Right, 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 my right. The possibility of uh, being involved in, <laughs> in dog training and is is our is our passion, but it's our life also. Yes. No? We are professional dog trainers. So if they catch me using a collar, right. I can lose the so even imagine no, I have a really nice person that has that has a we were talking also, we have that kind of examples all the time, no? Mm -hmm. A person that has some kind of injuries, but the dream of his life is to have a dog that can be strong and be able to perform and be active, but I, I don't want to give up on having just a dog that has no energy and, and just is with them, no? That, but they want to have a dog that transmits uh, them energy exactly. and, and life. Yes, you know? yes. And they they have a dog, so when they pull, you you know, some, maybe they don't have the possibility of teaching only positively because they don't have the what they they don't tell you is also the framework of time that you need to create a positive correct uh, or expression. We 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 know for sure, and we explore. And we really go deep in that teaching because he's our must in our sport. <laughs> and we really know. But 
who who is going who is willing to stay six months teaching something until you really create the concept in a correct talk. sometimes no no because for for some for some people they they need the solution now to be able Or to, yesterday to yeah, keep yeah. to keep the life with yeah. the dog to save the life to the dog yeah. not to sell them to kennel no you know but um, so now you cannot be honest with that people you cannot right you cannot help them yeah and you when the people come you say no before what we could do maybe in three months now we can do only pure positively it's going to take you one year no i i i'm totally against the pure negative if in a way of speaking no right so we never use negative teaching you know but the, the what what is really makes the difference is that how you teach you know we were talking you you create a emotional framework and then you create a technique of teaching your dog the what, what we are really in is we always teach positively once the dog knows then you can do two things if you don't do what i taught you i can give you a correction or a information that you were not doing right or i do nothing i only wait until you for yourself only do so right. you can reinforce yeah yeah but is is so because then we think in the dog if we do that we are going to create then a, such a stress such a problem but it's like if you have somebody if you are a police you see some fight a, a guy is uh, hitting to <laughs> to imagine his wife or right. a friend no i have to wait until he stop hitting them and when he hits i give him 10 10 dollars <laughs> no it's so unlogical no you know because why why you think you can be effective with that in that situation you you know you well of course if you if you don't care for the time you don't care for the patient with but but is what to say we we must in the bad behavior there is consequence no and in the very bad behavior there is consequence in the nature if you go to a snake right. no don't go to the snake and i give you a reward no right. there is so many studies about that there is that. actually yeah there, there is a in the force free community speaking about the 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 snake thing they they were like oh we're gonna teach it force free and and you basically are teaching the dog to avoid the snake you but really are but, teaching but the really, dog to avoid the but, snake but really it's, but it's the, the dog never understands yeah yeah that the snake is, really is dangerous. a dangerous thing it's so, so because dangerous. that's how you're teaching you're just saying stay away but you're not really saying why you stay away and but it is it's not it really we 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 don't force our dogs you know, we we just try to give consequence positive and we want to make a clear message so when you have a proper education the dog is always on the positive right but even like you know we do when i have the school and i have them come here and we do some games we play a lot of crazy games and it's <laughs> a lot of fun we actually sometimes put electric collars like they they would have electric collars on their on, the on their hands on their legs and on the neck okay i mean crazy but when you know and you would think oh they will be all afraid to walk into this room because of these really bad experiences but but wh wh where i was going with this is even with kids and even when you are teaching anything being kids being animals like if you walk in here and we put a blindfold so you you cannot see and we ask you to find something to go to something and touch whatever right if we only wait for you to the right move so we can say Good. this is good or we can tell you that this is good and we can also tell you that this is not good yeah every person that really wants to 
accomplish the goal, will choose the two options. Because telling you that this is the right way and telling you this is the wrong way is the most efficient way to, to yeah. function in, in anything. And so even, even in teaching things, there is a lot of times you can help the dog by not only saying and not only doing the right, the, the positive reinforcement, but also helping by saying, this is, you're doing the wrong thing. This is the right way. Yeah. And then they are. Yeah, but we are, we are playing on causalities, you know, we are, we are, we, you, the, the problem is that you think that there must be no ca negative causality what you do, no? If, if you work well, I pay you well. If you don't work. Consequences, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you create consequences. Right. You know, so we want the dog only to be without consequence and only in the positive way, but it's so unnatural. Exactly my point. You know? Exactly my and, point. And, I, and again, I really have to insist that we, we, we love dogs and we are, we, we are, we know they are very, very nice and very adaptable animals, you know? Right. They are not going to have that kind of situation. Of course, this, uh, some, some people are stupid, but we'll never, we never see that in, in our sport, not even by far. Because if you are in that situation, you don't even pass our social test. If I see, no, we, we, if you go to a social test, if any of my colleagues see in a social That's test, a dog right. that is afraid, that is trying to escape, and then, then he fails. He don't, yeah. he don't even come. That's exactly right. You know, so this, this, this is like this sad, <laughs> really sad situation, no, that, that we are facing now. And the the thing is that the 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 logic, you no, know, and even imagine like uh, we are having so much knowledge, you no, know, in 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 many science, you no, know, in the, in psychology we are learning a lot, and you know, and and you know this these brain scans that are giving so much information. We must do reverse psychology now, you no. Know? We must jump from the knowledge we have from humans, we must jump and simplify and put it that in knowledge to dogs. But we are learning so much about what kind of things are important, no? Right. And how harmful can be the the chronic stress, no? And but the chronic stress can come from that dysfunction of adaptation, no? If we don't, you don't face the dog to to problems and teach them how to solve is this resilience no is becoming so wide known uh, well known no but then we are not working on that in our dogs no and and you see i always give a clear difference between education and a sport mm. education to create that education maybe you have to Order, no, don't don't chase the cat, <laughs> don't don't harm your neighbor, don't control yourself, don't destroy the cloth of the nice right, neighbor. Right, 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 right. You know, this yes. kind of this kind of thing is education that can be consequence, no? Like when you teach your son, no, is but is you do with all your love, with all the respect, with all your care, because you want to, to really take care of your children or your dog. And all, but also you want to respect your neighbor, right? No, no, and in no. and, and actually in the the big picture, it is very beneficial. It's really, it's impossible without. It's yeah. impossible without. But that, that's really what we uh, what we have accomplished: the possibility of making a dog so social in such a difficult environment no we were talking no They're like the wonderful place you have here is uh, yeah but uh, we have our dogs living in the town mm -hmm. you know myself mm -hmm. yeah, our yeah, dogs yeah, just yeah. live in the town and and they they must respect the neighbors and uh, we must walk them by the street they have to cross with dogs that are very and totally out of control 
threatening to our dogs, barking to them. No, imagine you go for in the street and you come to a place that you don't know and people is yelling at you and I kill you, I kill you. And we have these dogs that they don't care. They go by our side, the dogs is just barking and we have such a well educated right. dog that they are they don't care and they they are able to jump that natural behavior because we tell them so. You know, it's uh, is is something that is really amazing. <laughs> And having such a powerful animal, no, because what this kind of positive idea, what we sterilize the dog, we put them in medicine, and we only have right. them all the time starving, and you just I give you food when yes. you do it right, and you only eat when you do this, you know, because then you have to go very extreme because you only have one tool. Right, 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 right. right. So you. So that, that's really loving your dog, <laughs> you know. It's, it's it's really when when we do you, our training, uh, is we try to grow our dogs. We we want to make them stronger. We create education. We make them. We we make uh, we stimulate the drives. We want them to love the food. We love make them to love our uh, interplay. We make them love to play with the ball and the toy and keep on being able to throw something and give it back to you. And so it comes such a high intensive of probably we have the, the money to study to see such a high arousal of endorphins in the dog when they create this. No, but it's something that is not that is something that we w must work. No, it's like when we do a sport at the beginning. Oh, it's so difficult, so tiring, so so that. But then, when once you understand and overcome, then you love it. Then that's life, and we want to take our dogs the life out of that, and right. and also only do certain type of dogs that are for free. But I just look at them and don't look at them, and that's so. That's enough for the dogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. What these people don't tell you is that what they are, they are working is in this social threshold that the, what means a correction for the dog is not the same for, the same for different dogs. And we have this selection program so right. amazing that, that we, want do, uh, we need dogs that can be very strong. So when you give a correction and they overcome the correction, there is no problem for them. That is in our program because we create dogs that are so resilient. Right. And that's the utility. But that's so beneficial for the dogs. So yeah, it's you, super important. Yeah, you go, then you go you go to a ship, you go uh, and you take your dog and they learn the situation and he overcomes. You go to the plane, you put your dog in in the in the bodega, they come out and he's normal. He's right. You know, because he's such a strong animal, you know, but that's what, but if we only think that our dogs are weak and they are going to be under stress and any correction is going to be harmful right. for all their life, we, you, you know, it's that, that view of the dogs, but we I love mean, dogs. Eh? I, I am so positive all, all towards the dog and I think they are super animals. They <laughs> remember, I, we were talking about that, no, this analysis of like, how the dog has evolved and we have in in rough number we have like 4000 dogs for one wolf so mm -hmm. <laughs> the adaptation that the dog has done biologically has been very beneficial for them no it's this kind of uh, biological uh, point of view in the relationship with my dog no but i can have a dog that uh, give me things but cost me things but you know the balance, right? Yeah. But we have, I have, I can have dog that I give a lot of time, effort, and give me harm, <laughs> and so that's can be biologically has a name, <laughs> not so uh, not so nice. But we can have dogs that we put the effort and give give us like the share. But we have dogs and we believe in dogs that we put the effort and they give us more, right? When, when, when that momentum, when that and starts, that comes. It, yeah, exactly. But how many, but you find that in not so many dogs in your life. Right. You know, but 
where the beauty and what is really make us <laughs> really fall in love with that when you have that feeling when you have that feeling that the dog is giving you more than you have put right 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 yeah? but this is where the, i mean it's so complicated actually <laughs> yes it's course. really really complicated because like i tell like there they are and and hopefully there are not that many trainers like this but they are trainers that they they will see some beautiful performance and they're like oh this has to be done all by force ah, because they that's all they, that's in, because they don't believe in dogs again. instantly they think that but because they, they don't believe in dogs they don't you know right. they 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 have a picture they don't think that the dog can do that by free will right they they, they don't believe in dogs right but we are again we are super positive toward dogs in our interpretation what a good dog can get so in our sport is what really make it so special and so interest no and in the in the actually the the moment we are doing now no the effort in the judging yeah. and in the training and you know it's really really a beautiful moment now. if we really believe in what we are doing in some time we we have super nice dogs but we are going to improve them but we have to be careful of not giving the false idea that everything is what in english would say rainbows and unicorns no, no, no. you know yeah but it's imagine no? you you see yeah la, now i see a lot of the super bowl no mm. <laughs> the mm. super bowl right you know and the, how how alive is these people how right. intense is these people how is because is somebody pointing to them with a gun right and they are putting their life on this you know and you, so if you believe in your capabilities and you overcome situation is when you feel really feel alive no of course no so when you you ah i want to we were talking also i want to run a marathon but what does it mean? <laughs> Try it. You know, I want to do IGP. It's tougher than running a marathon. <laughs> I always say we do my you know, resistance <laughs> competitions are parallel to our sports, my, my wife and I. And I always say, ah, this is easy. We do IGP. It's <laughs> much more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are able to do <laughs> that, uh, that long swing? Yeah, well, that's easy. Uh, IGP. <laughs> Why do IGP? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and it's, another, it's, like, I mean, listen right now. We have, I mean, you saw the kennels. You saw how many dogs there are. And we can have a conversation and you don't hear them going crazy and, yeah. you know, and it's not that they all have electric collars on. They just know that you don't just start barking to go crazy. Yeah, but I, uh, I remember I, I, we were talking a little bit like that. No, um, you, your the mindset in your dogs, the attention in your dog, and the, you know the, their psychological necessities are covered. Right. They don't live like in the lockdown. Right. <laughs> they are not bored to death. So a butterfly is comes or a, 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 the neighbor is coming and then you need to bark because it's the only fun part you do in all your day. It's like we were, when we were in the lockdown, a lot of couples <laughs> break. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why? Because you have to really live very close and you see, oh, you put the shoes here and you, and another shoe there. Right, right. When Everybody gets irritated. Very, oh, yeah. very active yeah. life with that kind of things doesn't matter. That, that irritation is gone because our mindset, you know, you, we, is totally different. No? It's, it's, uh, so our, your dogs have their, uh, of course, we tie the same with our dogs. They have their physical needs covered. The needs are met, yes. The right. social needs are met and their psychological needs are met, you know, but to have a, a good quality life with the dog doesn't mean that he has to be in the coach and give a walk and back to the coach and, and eat whatever he, he wants for free and no effort to win things. That's, that's the perfect life. You want that for yourself? Right. You know, <laughs> you, you, or, and, or and are you, are, or <clears throat> you, you are, 
Well, you are a clear example of you are challenging yourself all the time. <laughs> you are, the schedule is crazy, and you and and that's but that's a, and then you you are a healthy life, or you are really having a a very complete life. You feel right. realized in what you do, or you will feel more realized just being seated in a coach. And then, if I am positive to my dogs, I want them to be happy. Right. I want to be healthy, and I want to have more. No, no, no. My, to my son, no, don't study. Oh, don't make. Oh, why are you going to study all, all night because you have an exam? Don't effort yourself. Don't do. No, that that's that's a good parenting. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Then I, your dog just walks and go back, and and stay this natural situation. No, when you, when you know, like uh, you you interview a very interesting guy about wolves. Oh yeah, David Match. Yeah. yeah, it's really. I was very, very interesting conversation actually. No, this kind of. It was very interesting, but for me, he said something really interesting. No, we are so worried now that the dog are reactive towards another dog, but in the nature, a dog, when they don't tell you, no, they are nice. No, <laughs> if a strong and a strange wolf comes, and another male comes, what they try. They try to really chase him or kill him because yes. there is going to be such a high competition. If they don't do that, yes. they will die because they, they need such a big areas for hunting the little packs. No, the, the, I oh, think yeah, the numbers yeah, yeah. were amazing. No, so we, now we expect the dogs to live in a city just yes, because they like to live with other dogs, but the real nature on the dog is not that. Right. <laughs> the nature of right. the dog is yes, I have my they have my to have area, the family my and, the and they, place. they actually we have in our in our facility we have like a public uh, park you know? mm. and it's always full of problems because the people at the beginning <laughs> <laughs> like any dog park <laughs> yeah the, the people uh, and it's really sad because at the end the 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 people that stay on the park is the uneducated people that they don't care the dog make harm to another dog. Right. You know, it's, I always tell them, no, imagine you have a dog, you have your son, no? yeah, and you go to a park, and then come 20 kids to your son, and they start threatening them. No, but don't worry, yeah, it's just playing. Right. No, no, my, my kid is having fear. <laughs> He's on fear. So please call your children <laughs> and control your children so they don't make my kid be afraid no because we know that kind of feeling that is really harmful once that's so fast right no, that's why the this the the negative goes so fast because we have this really intensive adaptation so the fear is <laughs> to learn it so fast but then if we want that from the dogs no they are in the park so what happens at the end the people that is uneducated and they don't careless, they stay in the park, and the educated people go. Right. No, no, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. You know, that's how it goes. Yeah. But this, you know, it's and then and this is not. No, it's not. No, no. But call your dog, control your dog, because we are in the society. Con control your children. Don't don't step on the neck of my son. <laughs> Even though he's playing. No, no. Your your son is playing, but my son right. is having troubles. Right. Eh? So. You know, and we have this now this uh, this naive view of the dogs. But what when when you have a real dog, and the and the the nature the the real nature is that they are they are doing something natural. No? Yeah, I mean that's I think it's with with every, I mean with every living thing, it's like it's just normal. At least on Earth, yeah, but, that's how we are but, programmed. But to the be. amazing thing, and. And what we really believe is in the education. We can have that, but if we educate our son, our kid, they can go to the park. The other kids are going to respect our kid, and and my kid is going to respect the others. Right. You, you know, and that's the beauty of what we are able to do with a dog that we can educate them. You know, but that kind of education 
if we have to make a clear and, and logic analysis of the dog we are training in that moment. Some dogs need nothing but love and, co and no correction, and, do and some dogs need consequence. You know, it's like even <laughs> for sure, <laughs> even like in, in, for us in humans. No, I have four sons, right. um, and then my girls were <laughs> so easy, and then one of my <laughs> my my medium son was a little bit more difficult, and 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 the other is different, totally different personality. But I cannot do the same education for for all of them. And, and that right there is the big problem with with where we are with the different camps of dog training it's like well i don't need to do this with my dog yeah but but of course but it is good a, for you yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that you don't need to yeah yeah of course but but if you don't need it you do it ivan right no no of course no, no. exactly but you what what you what what is based your education and your training in the analysis of the of your dog you don't you right. don't use a system right you don't use a system. You create a social structure. Uh, you create drives. You create knowledge. That from that knowledge you create habits. From that habits becomes the education. Yeah. And then we have our sport. And in our sport, we have mandatory that we have to be positive in the teaching. <laughs> That's you all. know, in in like here is a very big thing at the moment. It's been like this for for quite few years now the the positive only trainer and the whole they will put so many scientific studies behind about yeah the dog should not but, have but again they, the, that kind of studies has bias no, no, hundred percent. They, they are not. Uh, they are, they are not, not real scientific. Correct. That's the no, tragedy. Let, let's, let, let's, okay, I have a dog that has killed <laughs> seven dogs, and yeah. now to that dog we are going to do pure positive. Yeah. Okay. Show, show me. Of yeah. course. No, no. I have this dog that is very sensible. We do pure positive, but you do yeah. the same. Yeah. You, you know, it's it's, uh, it's but totally it's the like we have a lot of things about fear free. This is a thing now here in the states. It's like the yeah, but positive movement is like everything has to be fear free. Of course, but you you you, you when you train your dogs are, are fear. Do they have fear? But I, I will tell you something, and and see what you think. Like I. I know that dogs, just like us, we like a little element of unsureness, a little element. Like you will have a dog that is walking and it sees something, a stick or a plastic bag, and they go like, oh, I don't know about this bag. Yeah. But then, just as they are a little bit unsure, they're also very intrigued and they, they're they like, but, uh, they don't leave it, they want to explore it, they want to challenge but, uh, and they want to be like, yeah, oh, I'm going to touch it, I'm going to, you know, so. But even for a healthy person, no? active and full, you know, we'll, we'll see, let's, let's do reverse psychology. Uh -huh. A healthy person that is really powerful and capable and, and you, you, is, is fearless? No, no, <laughs> but, you know, but you, it's, it's healthy. You no, know? if you are fearless, then you have really big problems in your life. Actually. You don't survive. You don't. Yeah, you you, you know? can't survive if you are not afraid of anything. Of course. So, but I, even but, uh, when I, you are I, afraid, I, there is a there is a some good things about, and and you know you want to explore it. You know, like you want to. Yeah. Like actually any remember, sport any you sport remember that you is, do. Is, is something like uh, this mental test no they very cleverly the in the nordic countries they do some mental tests like like a, as analysis no mm. and they really want to measure when the dog has the surprise how he overcome the problem right they don't want to see just dog that have no problem right that can that can be unhealthy no if you are fearless that's unhealthy if you don't have you are not afraid from the heights, then you can kill yourself. If you are not afraid from, you know, from spiders, it's something 
even that is very ingrained right. in our in our brain. No, if you are not afraid of snakes, then you you can you will you are prone to <laughs> not survive actually for sure. You no. know. So yeah, to to be a dog that is totally fearless is is adaptive and is you know in and and we 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 are is even something we don't even rule because it's really deep in, in our it's type in type of genetic of it's in the in the our DNA, brain no? it, yeah. in our our system our encephalon really <laughs> right <laughs> put the, the the bright lines and and sad, sometimes you feel some threat and some danger before your brain your right. cortex your prefrontal brain knows and <laughs> looks like some kind of uh, pre knowledge actually no they they are like playing how is possible we know in advance that even some fraction of a second in advance they right. are studying making very clever studies in humans no but as I said uh, now I think now is is the moment in in the studies of the psychology we do reverse psychology but we must know what we can apply in dogs or not mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. but like uh, yeah, in our training we do induction training we do uh, this this kind of shaping um you, we we do so many complex uh, system of of training but to what what is and, and this kind of people force free we totally agree in your teaching system you don't use force right in your teaching system you make positive explanation once you have the explanation then because we cannot make the reverse. We cannot make our dog teach something wrong, something by pressure, and then tell them that he's happy, that he's nice. No, imagine you, mm. uh, you, you want like a very simple exercise, plats, no, down, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? and you say your dog down. Down <laughs> is uh, for the dog has three meanings, like most of the exercises have three meanings. Down is a uh, submission, but down is that I cannot run away. I must be self-secure to do down. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't want to fight with you because you don't have to ra the right to make me down. No, the basic position have a meaning, ethological meaning for the dog. So you make seat, can be a submission. You make plus can be submission, and you make uh, just expose your neck and uh, the belly and your sexual uh, right. the sexual gonadans for, and then it's also an expression of Vulnerable. submission. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can get that answer from a dog from submission, no? Or I can also when a dog make plat or down, the dog must be very self secure, mm -hmm. and the dog must really understand, no? So when when the dog do any exercise can show us like a social behavior that a dog can come for submission or can come for communication. A dog can come sit for submission or can come for communication. So and and he's going to express very easily that that they cannot fake feelings. No, the dogs are very honest. You know? I always say. The dogs are very good people. They are very honest. They will never lie to you. So if you put some some negative emotion, you're, he's going to transmit it. So when when you ask a dog to sit or to plus, you don't want to see social behavior. You want to see a positive behavior, and it's very clear to see for with the, <laughs> when you know dogs actually, no, mm. and. Also, when the dog plats and stay, he's self-secure because he, I cannot stay like here. No, we are relaxed and we we are sit and we are comfortable. We can even lay down because we are in a comfortable area. But imagine you are in a dangerous area. You want to be laid down? Eh? You go to a bus right, station, right, 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 full right. of weird people. You want to be laid down? No, <laughs> you want to be just if you are able against the wall. <laughs> in a higher position to to be able to watch what is around. So when we go and we do an exercise in a stadium full of people, <laughs> full of noise, new place, and you ask your dog, Platz, and then you go, 
is, or you have a dog that is super self-secure, or how you can do that? You can do that for fear? Yeah. No, if you do for fear, you will see, you know, so easily. <laughs> eh? So the, this kind of analysis of the, uh, that, that's also very interesting, no, in what we do. We, we call the dog and the dog must come very direct and come very close to you and look to your eyes. If the dog is afraid of you, you, yeah, you see right away. Happening. Correct. <laughs> Correct. You know, so yeah, it's uh, this kind of interpretation of the of of what really needs a dog or really means a dog is so prone. No, like in the studies, they are using for that the studies sometimes some sort of dogs that can do that kind of things. Not 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 really the whole spectrum of dogs. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. That is the amazing beauty of what we have now in dogs. No? So, but sometimes stress comes. I'm just gonna kind of play yeah. a little bit on the other side of things <laughs> yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it interesting. But the, the, the stress is a very adaptive behavior, very natural behavior. Right. But the, the only thing that is really harmful is the chronic stress. When it stays there. When it doesn't have answer to it, yeah. but during during learning, just like you said with with your son, if he if he has a test in two days and he wants to pass the test, he's gonna study and he's gonna stress himself. You don't need to be on top of him and saying like if he wants to, he will put some stress on himself. And I. I think uh, in a, in a lot of a lot of times, no matter how you teach, it doesn't matter if it's dog training or or humans or anything. Even if they are learning something on their own, there is a moment of exploration and uncertainty. But the moment there is an answer, then all that is very temporary. That's just a stage that you go through. Yep. And you never have to it, it yeah, but you that, never have to revisit that again. But you know, like that that real life, no? Like 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 the relief and the the, the enjoyment for accomplish right. comes after that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> no? Exactly. No? Like for us, no? Like let's go to like the emotional parts and the what is exactly the same in the dogs right. actually no the emotional part no you you i i do i do swimming no in, no i was just going to bring that example i was just going to give that example I so was, i'm listening i was uh, I, I i do swimming and i sometimes with my freaky friends and me <laughs> we go into the sea before the <laughs> the sun come out right that's one of the really beautiful things we do now uh, there and, and but of course when you go you we all have seen there is uh, a little this, feeling this shark uh, yes this shark movie uh, how is no how you call in english that that, that movie jaws jaws <laughs> we we have all seen that movie so we are <laughs> imagining that the, the white shark is going to come to to eat you know before you go really in the dark but once you overcome that you feel so alive right and you feel so happy and you feel so so accomplished you know right so we want to take that away from the dogs right yeah no exactly right <laughs> really that's like yeah, with that, the, that's when loving you... a dog <laughs> yeah no you never you never fear no face and uncertainty or you know you right. never overcome nothing and everything for free that's super really <laughs> right that, that's a this that's a full life you you know what when are our dogs super happy. It's probably now, now we are we have dogs that are super super happy because they know they go trucking. We have dogs that are super happy because they know they are going to do obedience. Sometimes they go by themselves <laughs> to ask you, "Hey, daddy, let's go." Right, right. And they are super happy when they do protection because we cannot fake emotions. We can the dogs cannot fake feelings. No, if the dog is expression. Is expressing an emotion is because he's feeling the emotion. Right. No, we can be <laughs> uh, psychopaths <laughs> and, uh, and then we can fake an emotion 
but humans can do, you know, but very sick humans can do, no, it's something that... I really have something to tell you study, But uh, in the dogs, they cannot fake that emotions, you know, when they are showing that they are happy, it's because they are happy. When they are showing that they are communicating with you, it's because they are communicating with you. Their brain is more base, is more more emotional, right. more intensive, and not so logical or cognitive. No, we play with the cognitive part in our dogs, but we now in in our sport we play with the emotions, no, and the willingness, you know, and and the drives. But it's nothing really cognitive, no. So let me but give you one. <laughs> I have one very interesting one for you. So let's say somebody like teaching protection, right? And and you make the dog bark and you make the dog guard, but you really like you're in their face, you're really like just creating it from from a lot of pressure and fear. And the dog is doing it. The dog is barking and it's guarding, but he's not in the right, like he's, he's stressed and he's yeah. pressured. Yeah. And he knows, okay, I have no choice. I have to, this is what I need to do. So the ears are like this and the mouth, the teeth are, it's really like a defensive, like not, not a comfortable place. Yep. When that happens during the foundation of the training, and eventually if they do good job, those helpers, yeah, they, they make the dog overcome it, right? Yeah. But the body language from how the dog learned it stays there. It stays up forever. Right? Yeah. But what is interesting is that not all dogs at that next stage they don't necessarily feel this way anymore but they're convinced that you want to see that picture of them looking this way <laughs> you understand uh, what i'm saying totally, yeah, totally. so so yeah, yeah, it's you, a, you can you they're know, not when, necessarily when afraid you, anymore because you you can but they think oh i need to show this because imagine that happens even to the to the person no you 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 to you uh, you put the emotions that's uh, a classical conditioning actually mm -hmm. no you mm -hmm. put the emotions associated to a exactly. behavior no so you are it is you attached are, you, already you, like in, when people that smokes no and no and then you quit smoking and then you go for a coffee right and then you feel like smoking <laughs> right no? so that that part of emotion are so deep in grain, right. no? But this is what we we are we really protect that to, to our dogs in our in our practice, in our training. For for your goals, would you would uh, uh, you know uh, world champion, you know you, you want that kind of dogs? You keep that kind of dogs? You cannot you cannot keep in that kind of dogs. If you need to do that, it's because the dog is not going to be f really for you. Yeah. yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, in some moment you put some, like if you go for the training, then uh, you, you try to eh, go overcome, but you put some emotions, but the, the emotions in the overall, overall balance are much, much more positive than negative. No, no, yeah, that's true. No, what, what, what I'm saying is that a dog can learn to yeah, they, they to show the themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. in a certain yeah, yeah. to display certain okay I I need to no, it's look like this in the in the analysis of the dog is one of the problems we even have in our sport no right the, we are uh, fixing our pain too much attention like it's we give a lot of importance no like in, uh, that the tail of the dog must exactly. be high exactly exactly. No? Because then the dog is showing that he's happy and with his tail up. Yes. But then you have a dog that is very focused and that has a very self-control. And then he closes himself a little right. bit, you know? Just like the kid learning a test. Yeah, right. because then I am very focused. It's that, uh, that, that analysis we do 
very often in the tracking. Or you have the dog that selectively bred to have that tail that just will yeah. never go back. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah but... Uh, I think the same, it can get, then we don't like you. I mean, we, we just, it's not like anything against food training or in, but we just don't train with food. But, uh, 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 but when you start sometimes a puppy with food, and if the puppy is really young and you give them food, they start to act in the same way how they would act to the mom. Yeah. And what do they do with the mom? They don't get, give me food, because yeah. mom will never yeah. puke food. They have to act submissive and give me food. Yeah. So a puppy, when you do some puppies, not all puppies, yeah, but yeah. some puppies, you start them with the food, and they ad immediately adopt that behavior, how they would ask for food from mom. Yeah. So they will stuck with this picture of I'm I'm kind of begging for food. Well, it's, it's a submission behavior uh, right. that, that creates a reflex in the mother. Right. Yeah, exactly. When they, the, exactly. the puppy comes and lick and then they... And so now the dog is already a year old or two years old, but somehow got the message that, okay, I... Oh, everything yeah. else, but you, I also ingrain, have to maintain that picture. Yeah. You, you ingrain very much with the natural behavior. Right. That's, that's really the beauty, no? right. that we are able to differentiate. And then you see, as a judge, you see that that dog, and the dog shows a little bit submission, but that submission comes from nature, from the begging for the mom. Yeah, but, but then we can, then it's difficult to say, well, is the dog under pressure? Or is the dog behaving how it would behave with the yeah. mom, you know? Yeah, but the, the logical judging, when you don't have that clear idea, you, you cannot punish, but you don't praise it. Actually, we have, like in our system uh -huh. of analysis of the, in, in our uh, sport, no? Like right, the, right, the expression right. of really this deep analysis of the behavior, you, in that dog, if it's correct and you don't see bigger problem but you it but it's technically correct but there is this kind of small thing you are meaning then i i i give you very good uh -huh. but i cannot give you excellent because uh, excellent is the really correct expression in all the faces but impressive right you know but i don't punish i don't give you satisfactory <laughs> or i don't fail you for that you understand? But, but what I'm saying is like it's hard at some point with some dogs, it's difficult to say, yeah, well, but that's, that dog was really, he's just afraid or he's doing the right things that nature tells him to do. Yeah, but uh, we, that's why it's so impressive what we do now <laughs> right, today. Right. Because we are playing even <laughs> against a set, no? You, you can ask the dog sit and for the dog, there is a meaning in the seat or plats. There is a meaning of the plats. But no, we want to a dog that is able to overcome that natural behavior and govern that natural behavior through knowledge. Right. And then, no, I'm going to ask you plats, but there is no social uh, or submission meaning in this yeah. order. Like it's what, only what do you a attach? communication, and then you are. I want you to be really uh, knowledge that you have to really cr create this. A concept this uh, this learn uh, that I have taught you, but not because I sh you show me a submission, but because you understood what I tell you, and then you are willing to listen to the next command in the communication. Yeah? So you can have a plat. We've seen that picture that show us very much social behavior in that plat. Right. Or you can see a plat that is really an expression of knowledge of the dog. And now we have that description in, in our rules and we can analyze that, you know, and our rules want to see dogs that are not showing me social behavior, but knowledge and self-control and communication. Right. So, but if I, if, if I see that this is a natural thing in the dog, that's why our 
education as international judges is so interesting and we make very deep uh, point and analysis on that kind of things, you know, and not punish what is natural on the dog, but of course it's not bright. Exactly. So we must prize the brightness, but we must respect the owner and the dog also in the training, no? Yeah, so if the dog is not with a super, but then you, you don't give excellent, but then comes somebody that is showing super correct right. and super happy, and then we must keep that space. For sure, you, you have know? to. Yeah, yeah, but it's very difficult. <laughs> so, very, and then when you do that, sometimes is what we were saying, no? You think people maybe don't understand. Right. This, That's where my next but thing is. Th that, that is really our task. No? And that's why I also a, a good, very good judge, oh, you, you hear, but really I heard him from here, that is, he always say, no, that you are going to see in the long term that really super judge, I know <laughs> that kind of judge, of course, <laughs> but really influence and people, this kind of people that is writing the rules. Yes. And they, he said for me super cleverly that you, in the, in the time, you, you are going to see what you judge. No, if you you have the, this kind of really important judges have this this bias, and now it's so impressive what we have achieved. Right, right. You know, it's a, you you see dogs that were world champion 20 years ago. Today, they don't have even good. Correct. So here is the next one for anybody that starts to train and and let's focus on the obedience part mm -hmm. like what would be your advice to to trainers like what what where where are we going what do we what as a a judge and you're going to be judging fmbb again obedience mm -hmm. in in few months in yeah. italy and like i have a feeling that a lot of trainers, they, they are training very hard, but I don't think they understand what the judge really wants to see. Yeah. But like, what do, you, what do you tell somebody that starts, what would a judge today and from today on look for? So somebody, when they start training, they're already conscious about what they want to accomplish instead yeah. of just making a dog, you know, like, like, uh, with a yeah. clay, you just make just them a, look like something. Of, you know, we, we always say like, uh, like this, this kind of mechanical training or communication training. Mm. And, and really, but in my point of view, what, what really, what we, we, we are meant to see is the complexity, the whole idea of the dog. So the, the important is that we have good emotions from that good emotions communication. Now, so it's, it's very important. We, we keep you know, here in, the, in, in this, uh, this uh, idea of, of teaching the, the order is very important. Right, yes. As, as you were saying, I don't use food. Of course, we can use food in the teaching, in some basics, but very soon we start putting the dog in very much intense emotions right. that are going to be associated with the response. Right. So we put the emotion and the response, and then we don't have the dog maybe with food that is easier to explain. You go to the difficult, <laughs> then you it's like when you start riding a, a bike or, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. a car, no? If you go very slowly, then it's easy, no? <laughs> right. But when you go very high and teach, this is where this uh, sport uh, yeah, 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 is meaning, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like in, in, our, in, in our analysis of the dog, how the dog do it is as important or even more important of what he does. Okay, so the next one is, so we go the same direction. 
like the the ultimate picture of course is all three together have the right emotion have the technical part no handler help yeah. but if you have as a trainer you have to sacrifice one between technical part and emotions yeah which one you would prefer to no see? no it's, it's on the rules is 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 described tell actually. me first you when you have a dog that is in the happy and nice behavior you excuse mistakes so emotion always All will have risk, priority communication respect and emotion is is over technique you show right. me a very correct dog that is completely empty there is yeah empty is a good word actually <laughs> you know? then you okay you respect that but you you are going to search for the mistake mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. if you see a dog that is just doing the things but then <laughs> you value every mistake if you see a dog that is making making mistakes because he's so happy and so he's so willing to to please you and to communicate you with you then you see le- or you give less importance to the mistakes right eh, you know what i mean yeah yeah so right. it's it's uh, the now is like this this uh, super interesting moment in the, in our evolution no and uh, of the training no that we we are so focused in respecting no the the dog but even we want a dog that has a very strong mind that can handle a very uh, strong emotions and learning and and put it together no in a happy way mm-hmm. okay? so it's really the if you have to save something always keep the the respect and the joyfulness in the obedience when but as said eh, is it doesn't mean that when you do everything positive and in the education doesn't mean that you don't have control and you cannot control your dog if he wants to go chase <laughs> like uh, like like uh, birds or something no right you you have to take the care of that for you, sure. I always say to to our our people, no, you you must do the sport with a very well educated dog, and then you 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 don't create the education in the training field, no. It's like you when you send your sons to the school, you, they don't they don't need they are they don't they must come educated <laughs> from home, no. They don't right get the no, education in the school. True. Exactly, very <laughs> no, true. Or in the gym, no, if we are doing a sport. One of the mistakes sometimes is that the people want to create education in the training field. Mm, uh, right. You cannot train you yes, cannot create true. education in the training field. Very true. Yeah. This is the same thing with with kids when they go in public and they act like totally disrespect anything. <laughs> yeah. it, it's not Yeah, you see it in that's where you see it, but it starts at home. Yeah, but this is something that is happening in our society. Mm. You know, we all come. I think uh, you, you you have. <coughs> we all have a, a healthy life. No, some pro, sometimes problem or no problem, but you know, and and I I consider myself being a little bit crazy about dogs and all this kind of thing that can be understood by the sickness but i think it's a good sickness right but well. uh, we had education and we have to effort ourselves and we have to overcome situations and we are fine right you right know, it's uh, right like, like this culture of uh, of effort and and really go over the situations and you know is is a little bit lost in in our kids and we are going that crazy direction in the dogs that no 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 problem must be all right cloud and rainbows uh, but we are not making when the kids start you imagine very simple long time ago how important was like it was a very very interesting study no like in the immune system is the, it learns it has his kind of knowledge and learning situation no so we have i, I think it was a study here done here in the states this mm, worry from the mothers to have everything super clean the kids 
we are not playing, we are not touching, right. everything's super clean. What happened? Super big problems in auto allergies and you know, really, yes. really impressive sick. problem. Yeah, yeah, getting yeah. sick, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and something. And, and then what is the modern <laughs> recommendation from the really science? Go to the dirt, <laughs> make your kid right. really touch dogs, start in, in confront situation, right. not put it in a cloud. No, 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 no. The opposite. Make your, your immune system strong, yeah. but facing problems, not, but, but taking away all the problems. And, and science has proved that, 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 but before science was proven totally the opposite, no, that all, no, don't touch anything to the kid, oh, everything is sterilized, don't, don't face, of course, you don't face to something super dangerous, but it's so healthy and you don't have allergies. You, a lot of problems of really autoimmune system and allergies were created by us because the science told us to be in rainbows, no? yeah, yes. like we are doing now in this concept of education. Yes. but was totally the opposite. <laughs> no, of course, not extreme, but I even something like our immune system. But we must be positive, our dogs. No, right. We, we must, right. and it's our task to prepare them to solve situations, positive and negative, of course. No, we are not going to expose our, expose our dog to be killed by a car. Right. Or to or be get, beaten by a snake. Or get no? part of, or, or of course. Right. You know, so... So it's, it's that kind of situation that doesn't mean that when you are putting your kid playing in the mud or going to the beach and let him go and eat some sun, no, we are very close to the beach and our sons go and, and eat something, we no. but luckily our sons know they have no allergy, they are very resistant to cold, no, you know, they yes. overcome the colds. Why? Because they do sport, they, is, they are exposed and their immune system is strong. We want to do that with the, the nervous system of our dogs or, right. If, right, or, right, or, right, or right. kids, just only put in the no ultra, <laughs> no problem at all. Don't face any possibility of problem. So you become so weak that but it's so unlogical, no? And it's so disrespectful to your dog, no? Right. It's, as I said, no, we were talking for me, when the really beautiful thing we do when we train a dog is we create a theory of mind, no? So I, I create this theory of mind that is something very human, not, not so many animals can do that, <laughs> you know? That, but we can put ourselves in the mind of a dog, really try to understand, yeah. and then, I can think my dog is really, is <laughs> really weak, really dog that is going to be broken so easily, or I can think really positive to my dog. It doesn't mean that it excuse me to mistreat my dog, but really tells me that I can, I have to grow my dog. Yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. Have yeah. To face him to situations yeah. to grow my dog. You know, as you were saying, the protection you got. You, you grow your dog, you go, right. you start uh, teaching tracking, and then we start very easily. And then from easy, we <laughs> start taking the food away. And from the food away, then we start doing much more difficult terrain. And then we grow our dogs in, in that. You know what and I mean? And that's what's interesting, because otherwise it will not even be interesting anymore. Yeah. Right? So, and then you, we, we know our dogs that how much joy mm. can have in that, no? In that situation. And then when you have this kind of dogs, then you have a dog that can go, as we were saying, to a, an earth cake mm. and, and take your dog out of the helicopter, <laughs> go with the, with the team, with the military or with the police, yeah. put the dog in the floor and say, such and safe, right. and safe for life. Yeah. If we don't have that kind of selection and animals that can overcome these situations, no, so they, you don't, you will never be able to have a dog that can, like in Labradors, you know, why we use Labradors? Because they, they, even maybe the blind person is making a mistake and step on the dog. If you don't have a dog that overcomes right. the situation, you right. destroy the training right, right. away. It's over. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No? So why we use this kind of special dogs? Because they are going to keep the training even through the mistakes. Because they are resilient. <laughs> they are tough. So, as a judge, and you've judged plenty of high-level dogs, and you also see dogs that want to be the high-level dogs, but they are not. What would be an advice for a the dog trainer that has a dog that it's not, it's not just, it's not genetically in that yeah. excellent category. Absolutely. I think it's the and same I advice think, you, you would say is respect your dog. But it's good to hear for people no, because no, actually a lot of trainers. That, that's the, actually this, this is like epigenetic, you know, so we must have the quality and the training we have. Right. We must put the both things together. There is no one or another. Right. No. So if the dog don't have it, just respect him. Right. You, you, uh, that, but so, the, but this will be in like the, in, in the, the modern in the modern training I and mean, <coughs> in the, in our modern situation, you you cannot do you cannot do it if the dog don't put it. Right. So, in in, in an extreme situation, this is probably clear for everybody but let's say you have let's say i have that dog that i'm like man i want my dog to sit like this one i want him to down like this one i want him to come as fast as like this one and i know that i can force him or i can use his natural abilities yeah but the which one is more important to no, see no. today is there is no doubt about that you know, because if the dog don't show us and don't have the proper training, then you cannot get. If you put the pressure, the dog is not, is going to show right. emotionally. Then, and at that point, then you don't. If have we that. have two identical dogs and the one dog sits very fast on his own, as fast as he wants to, as fast as he can. Yeah. versus the other dog that it's made to sit really fast because that's that's a really that that's the really um, task of the in the judging right education. actually it's uh, is one of the difficult really make the analysis no to to uh, when you don't have a clear idea you must be always in favor of the of the dog the and more the judges. free dog or yeah, but I mean, if you don't have a real clear picture, you cannot punish. Right. Right. But um, I think now we are in this moment that, uh, you know, um, in the processing of the information, when the dog hear the commands and make a reaction to, to that command through a muscle response, yeah. or you can make a avoidance or escaping. Yeah respond that yeah. can looks and can be very fast but always right. there is going to be an expression of emotion a moment that, you know so uh, that's uh, something is in the concept of evaluation that we don't price the super fast there is no in our rules there is no seconds right we don't describe seconds you know so you have a dog that goes super fast it's not going to have dog that is heavy, you have a red violet, but he really wants to go to you. Yeah. You know? Yes. Or you have a dog that is super fast, but he's a worried. little bit in a panic. He's worried. <laughs> eh? And then in 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 our interpretation, we must value that. No, it is, there is no seconds. No? So if the dog is you have a heavy red violet, but is willing to go, but he, yes. he come in his possible speed, the super fast Malinois is not going to have more points. Right. Well, that's how, that's the, the reason I'm saying this is because I know a lot of, especially IGP people will be listening and people that are not so in a high level and want to, want to get there. And a lot of times they push the dogs yeah, but that's, in the wrong way. You know, it's not like understanding it, that that's, that's going to pay a price later you know, on. That's in, like in the sport, no? Right. You, Put yourself your, your too much. You want to right. play, 
hey, we win that second, and then what happens? An injury. Right. No? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. No, that's... So, yeah, it's the interesting part. We are doing training, actually. No, We are preparing. And then the clever training is the training that really respect your dog. As you said, you respect your dog, and you have the dog for long term. Right. No, Because this is so difficult a sport that I, I want to try to have my dogs working like with three years or four years and five and six if I am able seven and some dogs that are really reference to us maybe work with seven and eight mm -hmm. or, or nine no you know it's like the the things I always be I, I always we you know when we talk about genetic I am a little bit freaky about <laughs> pedigrees and and I check all those kind of things yeah. I like to see the age the dogs get that results, uh -huh, uh -huh. that super results, you know, and I really respect that and I really like this training and dogs that in their career, they've been able to improve in the long term. Farther, right. No, so that's, that's for me the interesting training, no, and the, the interesting approach of the training. You see sometimes dogs that are super star and then they decline, no, they have a very good oh, results yeah, yeah, in yeah. some moment and then they go down. But for me, like, you know, that that's really like in training, no, or what you want, the style, no, giving the style of training you want to achieve. For me, the the goal would be to create that so I can have fun with my dog. You know what comes years. to mind is the uh, at the Malino Nationals. Mm -hmm. um, Trish Harper. She uh -huh. had the dog that was uh, wow. injured, but she was just yeah, using yeah, it as a I demo. Am, I'm very How many times she did dumbbell? dumbbell. I, I and that dumbbell was just every uh, fucking time I, brilliant. I, I am super fan of that dog right? down from Tisha also. Eh? Yeah, it's really super. That That's <laughs> what's about. Yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can make it through pressure. No, no. But eventually, it, you know, it's, uh, it like, breaks. You, you know, there is there is a moment when we say, but the, the this this theory of flow, right? No, right, right, right. The exactly enjoyment right. in the doing, not yes. for the sake of yeah. The it's like please let me do another double. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like you know this kind of philosophy and this this kind of theory. Of, yes, of, of, of it's very much ingrained. That is one of the biggest happiness is when we come into the flow. Right. You know, and that coming into the flow in some very skillful, very difficult task, and it's very well studied. That is one of the really happiest moments in the life that they, they have made that very clear yes. in, with the men, uh, scanners, like in this, these Buddhist people, or, you know, that when you are very skillful and doing something very difficult that you understand, then you un you really have a lot of joy. Right. When you learn how to to broom or to clean a plate, that you you learn it very easily and but that doesn't bring you joy. But when you are able to solve a complex mathematic uh, problem, then you are super happy. And you a know, lot and, of and times it's you, not you even see that kind of training that get the dogs in that level <laughs> right that the dog do it not because of the reward just they do it because of the flow of the Doing. movement yeah, yeah 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 and then for me it's one of the goals we have to uh, to try to achieve in the dogs and that that example you were telling was totally <laughs> right yeah you see that was the dog like in the white dog three times or something and like that he yes was, and all the time was wow, every fucking shit. time. Yes. <laughs> really? yeah, you just yeah. like you, you cannot tell him to do it slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But it's but sometimes it's not even the training. Well, it is a training because you can you yeah. can fuck it up with yeah, bad yeah. training. But but it's, it's what we we were saying, no? That sometimes in our structure of teaching to get that flow, you will never get it through pressure. Right. But that, that dog is super strong dog. The, 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 this dog, right. by example, is very, really, really strong dog. If that dog don't have rules, he would be dead because it was such a strong dog. But when he has normal rules, 
and then you put the training and you put the education and then you have the dog with seven or eight or nine years and do that exercise and do again and again and again and no reward. Right. And the dog was super happy just for the sake of doing it. Right. Such a complex exercise. Anybody that works dumbbell work know what we mean. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, this is for me, like you were saying, no, what, like what, what advice would you give? No, but of course, uh, our, our uh, program is so clear on that. No, we are searching for that beauty, actually, no, for dogs, because in the competition, you don't have the ball, but you don't have the, the, the e collar. Right. Eh? So the only thing you have is the, is the relationship with your dog and that the dog is really enjoying what you do with him. And even at the end, we have that feeling. I have that feeling with two dogs in my life. My wife had that feeling also with a couple of dogs in your life. You tell me how many dogs you have that. <laughs> <laughs> right, eh? right. You know, with, yes. with, the, with the dog, you have that super results. You have that. Yeah. You have that flow. Yes. The, the, to do it, not because I reward, not because I punish, no, because I am with you and I am enjoying when, what I'm doing. doing. And, and that's so easy to see. No? When, we, when you are in a trial, you are so close. Sometimes you, when that's one of the really luxury of, of judging that you are there <laughs> enjoying it. When you see that kind of situation, you really, is what you love to see. No? And we search for that. I, you remember, I remember also very well in, in the, in, when in the Mali championship in, I was judging, I remember it was raining so hard, a lot of parts were, I, I, I was yeah, analyzing yeah, yeah, your dog yeah, it was also, getting kind of, was really yes. a nightmare, some parts were super full of water, no, no, <laughs> no lack of, of possibility of smell, nothing, just the dog really willing to find and right. willing to fight. And I had really in my memory a couple of dogs that were this kind of situation yes, you know, see. Yes, I know, I know exactly. And I remember were, that. I, you were like, I was. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's I like, no, no, I'm, I'm finding this, I'm finishing this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember one dog just was totally full of water and the dog was. Yeah. One step again. Yeah. What is the power? <laughs> it was really in, incredible. But when you see that, the, the dog it was not doing that for rewarding. <laughs> the dog was not doing that for pressure. Right. You know, he was trying to find and trying to really accomplish his goal for the sake of it because it's right. food. You right. know, they are not searching like, like the, the dogs that hunt, they find the prey. No, they, there was no prey. Just something that a guy left there in the water one hour or something ago. And then I go with my dog and he really struggled to find it for me. You know, and, and we have that in our sport, actually. And, and it's something these, these people don't, don't, cannot see that beauty, actually. You know, and, and that's why we are... How do you feel about the whining stuff? The... Ah, the, like the, you know, just the yeah. dogs being vocal, like what? there's many reasons, but I don't even want to talk. I want to listen yeah, there what is, you. There, there is a, a lot of possibilities for that, but it's, um, it's something for me that in the analysis show us like the self-control, no? The possibility, you, you know, we, we see many dogs that are excited happily in the yes. good emotions but they cannot hold they cannot emotions. control themselves they cannot Correct. control the Correct. emotions so mm, we, we are <laughs> evolving so much before that was not problem yeah but now we are in that evolution we of would that want moment to. that we want the dog that is able to even control that positive emotion and put it in, into knowledge you know and keep the right position so yeah, of course, you, you don't But kill. I think it happens also from breeding, from yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. select that kind of super high intense dog. Yeah, but and that, then that dog just cannot control no more himself. Because are, for me, it's, are two different things. 
you, you know, the, the drives and the self-control. No, in the modern psychology, is considered self-control like a muscle. Mm -hmm. You can build that muscle, but there is a lot of genetic in that muscle. We have seen uh, we, when we talk about the, the breathing. No, we have seen that muscle in the in the uh, the, the old ring sport. The old lines, like, yes, yes. The dogs that you were making noise excite them, and the dog is yeah totally cool stable it, not not even just in the expectancy of a ball in obedience no with a helper <laughs> just totally and you have the dog totally close to you com completely calm self-control and then you open and the dog goes poof. yep yeah? and that's really I, that's my my interpretation is very genetic so for me it's very appropriate we eval value that no punish of course but right. we make an, a clear evaluation that dog that can have that intense motivation but control right you know so yeah it's, it's so how easy you think it is but now to to make the difference between the one that's super excited and is very impatient and the one that it's also impatient, but it's because of stress that I must do it very fast. Yeah. And but the, the the body language of the of the dog yeah. can give you a clear clue about that. Uh, you know <laughs> for sure. Right. You know. You see. You you know. It's uh, right. And 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 it's is no of course not easy to see but it's there is it's fair you, you can sometimes you, you can you can analyze uh, make an analysis see it and and be fair no you know our, really the task and our must is to be fair to the competitor and to the dog mm. no and respect but unfortunately and a lot of judges give prioritize that speed that has been created and even though they see that there is a, you know, some some unresolved pressure, but, yeah, but that, they they encourage you know, that, the speed. That that is that is also one of the beauties in our sport. If you had that speed, that that kind of speed, maybe you have you're going to have that kind of way of solving the situation and the drive. And the conflicts uh, in the tracking, you no, know, with when you find the difficulties, and then that kind of dog maybe can give an impression in the obedience, but it's going to give another impression mm. In, mm. in in tracking, and and another maybe to, probably totally different impression in protection. You no, know? that's the really, you know, the, this right. the, the the nice right. thing about this sport, you no, know, that we ca we balance, you no. Know, but that, that's where it's the. And now you see in the in in the effort like uh, the in the competition they they try to to have that no you know, mm -hmm. not only one interpretation we have three interpretations right but this is where the the beauty I think of and this is not possible I know this is very hard but the beauty of one judge judging the tracking obedience and protection gives that judge the total picture of the training and the dog to well, where when you judge just one face you can you can get fooled yeah but um that that's when that that's that that School protects conversation no? yeah that that protects the 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 dog and the handler if I have an interpretation and I have, I'm fixed in one idea and I evaluate you in the three phases, that then, too, sure. Then it's, it's, it's really you can already a narrow. But if I have three different or, you know, three different judges that are so, that they are going to make it the analysis of, of the dog, then if I make some sort of bias or you know uh, can balance it. because we we are not measuring speed we are not measuring meters we are measuring emotions and intentions no and technique you know but right. we are so there is uh you know a, a part of interpretation that 
it's important we can back up with our knowledge and our explanation. No, so I I tell you this because I see this, not because right. I think I no no. I try to really I, I try to be very fair. No, I'm very serious. For sure. And and there's a lot of thinking involved. <laughs> when yeah, you do for it. sure. <laughs> but if if you if you put it only in one mind, if, if we say then is. Uh, but if we put it in three minds or three right. interpretations, three uh, different uh, points of view, then we can balance, no? And and for sure, when uh, it is. But you, like, let's say I wanna, I want to really know about a dog. Yeah, but I wanna see him in all places. Of course, and it's one of the luxury I said. Eh? Right. As, when you are uh, when you are judging or when you are helper, you uh, one is yes. one of when you are a good helper, no? Yes. <laughs> and you are in a in a competition. I really envy them <laughs> when I see right. them. Right, <laughs> right. Because they are feeling the dogs. You know exactly you know, they, what's they happening when you the have this. <laughs> you know. So yeah, yeah. It's but uh, is is one of the things we like when you are there. Is because you like dogs. You are really mm. uh, and you want. You you don't want to give points. You want to see beauty, <laughs> right? Right. You know, and uh, and even when when you have a helper, what a helper wants to see is that dog that is really <laughs> holding him, dominating him. No, not really a dog that runs away from him. No, he. You you want to see really what is impressive or uh, what is beauty, uh, but and and I think is is fair when you have this clear different. Clear picture, but different different view. So if, if there is any en, any mistake, we have three <laughs> interpretations. Right. Yeah. And as you said, no, when dogs are very honest, <laughs> and so they are they are going to show you what is happening. Yes. Uh, so in tracking, you you can see what is happening. In obedience, you can see what is happening. And our sport is so complex, and we search for this kind of even situation a little bit contradictory no you can have a super dog in tracking but they is not so good in obedience and, along, and maybe not so strong in protection then you have yeah you know, normally now, the one that's really really good in obedience it's not so good in protection i must disagree really <laughs> when you have <clears throat> the right the right you, you, we, you, we have examples of that. Yes, that you have a really a strong dog that can have a very nice obedience, but it's much more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that can happen, but a dog that has really nice obedience may not have that protection. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The other but, way, yes. But, but yeah, but uh, then you, you, he will not score so well in protection. Right. So in uh, the overall results is unbalanced. Right, right. You know, for, for me, what is very interesting in our sport is when you have a dog that is calm and intensive and self-secure in tracking and then is very active and very attentive to you and willing to please you in obedience and really strong and dominant in protection. Strong and dominant, not just kind of sporty protection. Yeah, yeah. But... That you know, it's like uh, when you when you have like uh, a person that is like, a good police, or you know, is not can can be very dominant, but uh, don't need to show aggression. Right. <laughs> you, you, yeah, right. That, that's what we we want this balance. No. The reason I'm saying this but is the, because I think with the how we are making protection now the stick is gone and like we're really not starting not to test protection and mm. we can have but, we, um, we can get to the point that we can have dogs that can do really amazing obedience and don't have enough but that, that's that's the the thing this this the nice thing in our sport sometimes we change you know, and sometimes you can complain, but because we are changing, but we are open to changes, mm. and we we must th this concern that you have. I also I 
totally agree and, yeah. uh, and I have that, that yeah. same concern, but we must try to find a way to check those possibilities. You, you, so, yeah. you know, there, there is some, we can uh, open our eyes and see uh, how we can do it, you know, how can we create something, but I think... Uh, I, I see that impossible. Yeah, but you... Because when you, when you hit the dog, and when I hit the dog, it doesn't mean that you make the pain, as we no, said. No, no. But and, you just also, make, him, make him say, yeah. oh, you want to fight me. Yeah, but Now also, it's very interesting to see how the dog listens. Imagine you, you are just uh, concentrated and you have to listen, but you hit yourself. And with, right. I get something. Right. And then in a split exactly. second, you must be again. Exactly. Or stay, oh. Right, right, <laughs> no? exactly. But also we are protecting our dogs because I threat you, I, I give, that's the, the pity of this. We, were, we have not been skillful enough to, to be able to explain this. If I hit the dog and he doesn't run away, it's because he's not, he's not afraid. Right. The dog is not afraid. Right. And has to listen to me directly. Exactly. And I am 50 meters away. Yes. <laughs> and I only have one chance. Yes. Imagine in that situation, you are in a fight with somebody and, and your right. friend <laughs> tells you, hey, stop. Oh. And then That's I a am very... able to stop. I am able to control myself in that situation. And then able to overcome a threat is because you are not afraid. Right. And you are even able to think after that stress. That's really intensive what we ask a dog to do. Even if you put yourself in that situation, you, would, you, you yourself would have a lot of right. problems to control right, right, yourself. Right. right. So, as we said, for me, the challenge now is to have very strong dogs with very strong mind that can handle that situation and with a stability but this yeah. is something we never had <laughs> we i need, think because we have we want to have a dog that is super social that stay with another dogs but the, at the same time it has really super drive but at the same time that drives he's able to put it into cognition right you, you so that, but it's the challenge we have now. Oh, big, you have a big challenge. Yeah, yeah. As a judge, <laughs> but you have a big... Like no, a, but you have that challenge as trainer and as breeder. We are just like... As a breeder, I, I don't think I have the challenge because I can, I can evaluate a dog. I don't need the competition to evaluate yeah. the dog, right? But, but how many... Do you, know, do you know people need that backup? actually to get that information which was was supposed to be part of the goals of what we do no? right yeah? but of course when you have you saw my pedigrees on the phone <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no but like I, I, I give you maybe it's not quite a good example but i let me try like you have the show german shepherd lines mm. i had one and you run around in the ring. And the reason you run around in the ring and the reason you stuck them is for the judge to look at their movement yeah. and look at their structure and guess and predict if they are capable of doing something instead of actually testing them. Can they do it or no? We just kind of look at them and say, oh, look at this movement. That means he, he can do. Well, that does not mean that he can do. Why don't we find out if he can do? Well, because and the same with the protection now, when we don't have the stick hits, yeah, we can make some crazy motions, like it can become like the WrestleMania, like uh, I, I hit you, right? It's like, and you fell down. It's, but we are not, we, we, no, last we, year we for, lost for that me, ability we, to we, really test the we dog. We have, no, I think not, not really test, but we have, we are going to miss one part of, of the analysis. You know, for, for me, what I evaluate, uh, what I think is, was interesting is that we create this, this, this stress, no? So, exactly, my you point, know, help yes. The, you, you, so we check 
in our program, we check the the stress for the threat in right. the dog. Even the helper is trying to make him afraid, right. and the dog respond with dominance and hold him. So the dog is overcoming that threat, showing us that he is he has no exactly. fear. Exactly. First, so if you make a training based on fear, will the wrong the dog can <laughs> run away? Eh? So if the really the helper in that situation, a strange environment, you, you you cannot do by fear. Right. It's impossible. Or, or the dog have it inside or it's impossible. And so we check, uh, we analyze that the dog is able to overcome that physical, uh, psychological threat, but we don't test like the resistance to annoyment right you know? like uh, imagine like to like to pain but right. in there when we have a utility dog we want dogs that even imagine you have your dog come into a disaster area then the dog falls because there there is a lot of stones yeah. or you know uncomfortable place or so, and on and, and then he you know he has to overcome some kind yes. of problem and we want a dog that is able to to overcome that right we now we have taken that out of the analysis we right. cannot see the physical resistance no yeah you know that that kind of sensibility you like in humans you i pinch you some people will say oh, oh you right. you harm me and that sign that same situation maybe to you as well exactly <laughs> there is a mosquito <laughs> you touch me you know so like the we, way I'm in the in the analysis of of our, our dogs Unfortunately, we have not been able to to really explain and keep that, and really, actually, but for because for me it was just a problem of the the physical uh, uh, the physical uh, bust, uh, stick we mm -hmm. were using that was right. very noisy, but not right. really making you right. know maybe it was enough to get the blood pressure up yeah yeah to skip a little heartbeat yeah yeah and no do, do you remember we are not talking about the old days that where we were using oh my the god bamboo yes sticks. i know i know and then you break the bamboo stick yeah and the, the dog the walks dog. with the with the blisters on, yeah, yeah, on but their uh, side but, but again we we are not talking but about that we, we don't we don't need that for the analysis. we don't need that for sure we, we don't need that but we we can test the the resilience to the physical distress and that that distress don't block the mind of the dog right that distress right. don't make the dog run away but that distress don't block the mind of the dog and he's able after that distress he's able to listen to me yeah uh, to listen to us even <laughs> in the in a super huge distance and the dog is alone so we are showing such a strong animal that he's able to overcome in the long attack in the yeah. field is is very nice to see because it can be but what is impressive is that the dog listens to you at once exactly and, and in that, you know in our in our rules maybe people some people that that listen to us maybe they, they don't know but you you cannot give more than two extra commands right as long as you give two extra commands and the dog don't listen to you 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 know you are disqualified no right. you lose point no no you are disqualified as, as soon as you lose the control the possibility to listen you are disqualified right and we we are going to lose a little bit that that checking no i don't think it's going to be a super big disaster but we are not checking that I think so it is clearly. a big disaster, <laughs> but I tell you why. Not, yeah, for, the, I, not I for the sport, David. I don't think for the sport, but like if we, if we are, no, no, no. It's, uh, we are know, not, now. We are not talking about this for the sport. Okay, we are because talking if that, we would that we, dogs we are for, we are selecting dogs right, that can be utility right, dog. Exactly. So in exactly. the utility dog, what we check in that situation is a dog that is overcoming yes. a physical distress. Yes. Yes, super important. So, and the, the, he's overcoming his physical distress and still have the balance exactly. emotionally that don't have this overcome of emotion right. that don't let the dog listen to you. 
Right. What happens? Right. A lot of dogs are very strong. You have very strong dog. Come the hitting, and then the dog gets angry, and then out game of control. over. Yes. Game over. Yeah, but that's super interesting. Being for being <laughs> because it's too angry, or being because it's unsure. Yeah, but the, game you, over, you can, right? Yeah. So you can have both analysis. Exactly. No. Oh, the dog really gets angry, strong, but that that sometimes happens not even needing the the helper. No, you have a dog that goes very fast to the helper, and and the the dog is not skillful enough to read the movements of the helper and catch it, but he make right. a little bit impact. I tell you, like from and then the dog from that knows. That's the most common situation, actually, even more than <laughs> the blocking just for the for the stick hit. But you, you know that that kind of uh, of analysis of the of, of the possibility of listening to you in that situation now is missed. But is the the nice thing? It's like we were talking before about many things we were considering in learning or yeah. even like immune system no? yeah let's go very simple no? yeah and then before we have this concept of what means the what was good for our immune system and how we can improve our possibility to overcome uh, you know <laughs> COVID <laughs> and all this kind of situation and now we have totally different knowledge and uh, an approach so in in now sport it's open now is you know that they are working in a new con in, in a new uh, concept of rules mm -hmm. and and it's open it's open to uh, for anybody to give their opinion Import. through your kennel club you give your opinion you i would say that that idea comes to your your delegate and that delegate come to the fci commission yeah, and yeah, they yeah. That, that ideas can be discussed and and they are democratic. They are both. That was the the because the that not that they are new rules, but they were the new proposition. Yeah, I was the new there. Ideas, Actually, right? I was. I was. I had a, like a very. I was there. I, I was just one year delegate. Uh -huh. I was just there in that. Boat, the uh, big decisions in that, in that voting. No, okay. that we have this idea of putting a jump with this balance part. So oh, if yes, the dog touch yes, it, yes. and then they come, uh, they come with this idea. It was already written <laughs> in the yes. rules, and say, hey, we have made an analysis, and this could be risky for the dogs because some dogs can come into that balance part and make and be that can be harmful for them. So, what do you think? Should we keep it? Or should we? And was all the delegates that were in that position, we keep it, we don't, we keep it, yeah, we don't. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, totally, yeah. you know, democratic. Yeah. And not not only from any any <laughs> sorry, any delegate that was there has the voice, and he was representing the people from the country and this, their ideas. You know, so I think. Is we have this situation now, but we uh, we we have to to adapt now. Oh, thank you. We have to adapt now and and save our sport. But our like for my experience, eh, what, yeah, right, what, right. I, what I saw was really democratic and open and open to suggestions, no, and to for improvement. And we to give an idea, we analyze. Okay, it's okay. It's not. We Okay, and we vote, and and it, it stay. It's not just the idea of a few people just doing uh -huh. what they want, but I really, in the intentions for for what I witnessed, eh, actually, was very democratic. So maybe we have this situation, but maybe if we come to a moment that really the knowledge and the really we can give this kind of explanation, like I I know that you are making efforts. To do a studies where you show what, what this what this kind of education give this result, this kind of education right, gives right, right. this. So when we make an analysis, okay, no, no, we must check the like the threat, the avoidance threshold in the physical part, not only in the psychological part in our dog. So 
it comes it can come back you know so yeah. it's, it's uh, i guess for for like competitors at least i from with everybody that i have talked about with especially that thing with the stick I mean, almost all the rules come kind of as a surprise to us as competitors, even yeah, though, well, actually, you know. But, but that's, uh, I, I think that that can be also the nice thing uh, in this situation. We, we must really uh, struggle to, to be, to decide what we are. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> what are we? Are we a sport? Okay, let's do it right, sport. Right. We are not a true. proper sport. Very you true. Know? What are we, a uh, 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 selection system? Okay, let's prove it. Yeah, and, very and, true. And we, Good we point. know we are both things, you know? Right. And now I think we are in this moment to to really be clever and, and, and show the amazing thing we are doing <laughs> and how we are improving right. our dogs. We need healthy dogs. When we go in obedience, you know, we, we show that the dog is able to think to bring me something, I throw him, that he's able to jump a meter freely, openly, yes. no harm, no touching. So the dog is super healthy for doing that. You, you know what I mean? No. So we are checking those kind of things. We cannot have a dog with very bad pro hip problems and doing that. Right. No. We cannot have a dog that is afraid from the stick because we make it everything by fear and overcome that and in that level of fear that is such a big emotion that is going to block the brain of the dog and be able to let uh, tell the dog when he's 50 meters away from us say house and he do at the same moment he do the transition we we evaluate imagine eh? we we don't see just the dog biting we see the dog, how the dog opens <laughs> Mm -hmm. how the dog make the grip and keep the resistance, how he tried to stop or how he overcomes the threatening of the helper. Right. When the, when the helper stop, we evaluate how the dog is feeling before the house. Is he willing to house? He's yes. stressed. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. but we, we make that analysis and then how the dog house, that he house by fear. Exactly. Uh, that he house and, and what he does he dominant, do after? Uh, and then, how he changed his mind and yeah. start making a dominance. Yeah. And from that situation, how he is able to get himself under control by the helper, by the handler again. So imagine it's <laughs> even oh, it's for super, a person. <laughs> but that's be, why we do it because it's so complicated. That's what makes it so fascinating, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, and the same dog that is so, that then you go to obedience and want to be an active and happy dog and very sensible to you. And then you go to tracking and you see this dog that is intensive and and totally free. You are with a 10 meter line. Right. You, you are really, right. Hey, what is the more scary, you no? Know, when you are a competitor, where are you more <laughs> scared? It's when you go tracking because you, you can do nothing, just follow your dog, <laughs> which that he finds the everything for you, you no? Know? So I mean, I have to give credit to this last thing, the, the utility commission, you know how they have an idea and they propose it and they, they send it this time. Tip, normally it was always decided this is what happens, but this yeah, time but, uh, there was no, ideas no, and I, now I, they, this, what, what they I, say, I, hey, what do you guys think? That yeah, was but, a good thing. But the, the, that was before also, was in the, really? in the rules for the nighting. The 2019 before was this kind of discussion, and what sometimes was happening that if if the the delegates don't do their work, that's a but problem. But it's not too. A, that uh, uh, you, we cannot blame to uh, when I not I not part. Eh? <laughs> I'm not defending. No, no, no. I not part. Eh? But no, uh, we no, must I, keep. I know what you're we saying. We must respect the, the you know the effort that right. because. All you know, but the FCI commission was is not to blame if the delegate of For sure. your country didn't do his job and For give sure. the possibility. Hey, send me your ideas. What do you think? Yeah, eh? oh, not crazy idea. Of course, send me your ideas. What would you change? What you improve? What you put? What you take out? You know. But this time they did it. They 
just let it out and everybody i didn't need to have my delegate to tell me i saw it yeah but and the, that was Matt, not a Matt, bad idea but must come through the delegate sure sure but, but because they 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 got the idea that the, the, some delegates were not doing their job exactly that's my point you know because now now that we saw the proposals yeah, now, now, now we can put pressure on our delegates yeah, yeah. before that was not happening yeah but you know but but that that uh, concept that that idea was already there right um so if it was ready like uh, remember no probably yeah i know when i was talking with harry about this he he kind of he, he said the same thing mm -hmm. but it just i tell you from being a competitor it gets so frustrating because and again it could be the utility commission could be my delegate or somebody's delegate but all of a sudden the people that the rules really matter for the people that compete and train it comes as a surprise and we're like man why why yeah, are we doing the, this you know of course we 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 are i think no nobody is happy to the, for the decision of taking the 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 the, 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 stick. the heat sticks uh, away but my understanding was that there was no pressure by anybody to yeah, remove but the it's, stick. it's a question to be proactive that's um, the problem i i can i can a, a little bit understand because the situation in in europe is so crazy but you cannot make them happy no no they will but, never be happy but, but now as i said we are in the moment that we must because we didn't do really our task uh -huh, before uh -huh, uh -huh. now we have to absorb the impact and then we can grow again yeah it's my I said uh, is my uh, my my point of view also so yeah because this what we do with our dogs is it deserves the effort no? if it deserves to survive we are doing so much good to the dogs and i really you know it's like what what i can really know from my practice not from the right. judging right 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 because we are in our super amazing dogs my wife always say very 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 uh, very uh, logically and very right <laughs> that even in our dogs the the dogs even the dog that we think is not so good not so nice would be the dog of the dream of many people very true oh yeah that's yeah. super true so and and we have this <laughs> special that the special brightness and this special dogs that um, when when people don't know you you uh, when you just see our program or our dogs you think this is normal but what, what the 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 quality of the animals that we have the training that we have today the techniques that we are evolved i can assure you it's not normal mm. <laughs> you know if we see we are like in this level of understanding on the level of the quality and and we think that the drives the positiveness the the overcoming but uh, we in our practice we see a lot of dogs that come and you try to give food as a reward and you cannot right you can try to help them by uh, that but encouraging them we we also one of one part of our uh, work is to help dogs that in the shelter in the public shelter mm -hmm, in, in mm -hmm. malaga and then we make an analysis of the dog and we give the recommendation what kind of environment will be nice for that dog yeah. and what what how in this um analysis of what motivates the dog if we can motivate the dog by food and also he can we can motivate by hunting drive with the ball yeah. or with prey or how tough they are to the handling how secure are with different dogs and we make that analysis and give a recommendation for the uh, possibility of the dog to go to uh, the right it's family yeah. and to the right yeah. uh, education we are we are doing this from 2007 uh, consistently this year and it's something we really love and it's very very sad that's sometimes very good. That, but that's very sad but because we we see i don't know how many dogs every year but is these kind of things are the things that should be gone <laughs> in right. the future and 
I always say to to really know what we do is also culture. No, when you have your dogs, the dogs from your breeding that have this level of selection and care and attention. How many how many of your dogs finish in a shelter? Right, very true. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, them. you don't have them. Why? Because the culture right. that we put protect the animals. Right. So. If you want to protect, really protect the animals, what you have to do is, of course, see the situation, but save the culture. Right. No, it's, <laughs> we have this problem, no? We were talking a little bit about, no, don't buy dog, don't buy dog, only, but it's like, if I tell you, don't buy, don't buy books, don't buy music, just go, everything that is just thrown away, that's one of the big problems we have in the culture now. We only have, Things that are very easy to eat because it's every, right. there is the, you you can copy everything and you can and then we you you don't see when you want to really enjoy a movie or a complex you have to go to the old days because you eh, so it's the same culture in the dogs no don't, don't buy dogs it's only no no there is a place for dogs that to be to be rescued it's super nice but also we must keep the culture and we must keep our our, our uh, respect to the dogs right. and if you want to save the dogs the is our moral obligation toward the dog to improve them to make them more yeah. adaptable to society and to have the possibility to be healthy to be when we use our you know our dogs cannot be sensible to the stomach because we go <laughs> tracking and then they have to fight with the fire ants as right. you said me right. you know so we we are doing so many things yeah? so and we are every time with better and better dogs now in the analysis of the sickness we make the genetical sickness so we are trying the dog are free from this free from that free from that we check hips we yes. check elbows yes and then we also put the training so it's and then we are the the bad people it's really incredible as, as you said no like this study that people that we are doing these kind of things we are bad people. <laughs> right. No, it's really, really sad. That's the, 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 what, what we, like the sport people around the world, we cannot just feel that pressure and always try to please the animal rights activists. Yeah, but because they will, there is no end to it. Yeah, but uh, I said this. But I, we can I, my, protect my, my, my the hope, dogs. Eh? <laughs> as you say, my hope. I'm, I, I, I also Optimistic. I am positive uh, to what the people. Let's see it. <laughs> I am positive to to people. I think at the end, the knowledge and the the science and the logic will win. Sometimes now we are prone to that emotions are more important than logic. No, no. Uh, what has made special the human being is that we are we can be logic even through <laughs> after emotions no yeah. so now we have this society now that sometimes the people that make a lot of noise look like they are right but it's not true the, the people that are that have the knowledge and with the culture it should be the one that has uh, it should be but we don't we never stand up to confront them. We always seem to it's, bend uh, down. But because we 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 are busy, <laughs> right. we don't have the time. You know, you you are super busy. I am super busy, and all the people that we are loving our dogs and breeding them and taking and training them and and you enjoying them, we don't have the time to make noise. But if you like, if you write a book about dog training and you just present it as this fairy tale that pleases that ideology, but it's not real dog training. And even you yourself are not training this way. You're conf confirming, you're, you're, you're basically like, even even with the like I have people from all over the world going through my class. And most of them are coming to my class that are from Europe because 
they cannot learn in Europe. Yeah, but the, anything that goes but against that, that, the agenda of the, the yeah, but that, that's an ideological agenda. It's right. not not really something that we what we are supposed to be. No, that is be technical and professionals and have the possibility of helping the dog and the people with a, a scientific approach. And that's one of the, our weak weakness, real weakness. Is that's that, what I'm saying. That we are not a real profession. Mm. You know, we we mm. we are so. We, no, but they, it's becoming real profession. Like in Germany, for example, right now. Yeah, yeah. They. No, no. I I, I am also one of our uh, of works is we we certify uh -huh. the professional trainers. Okay. Uh, there is like six people in 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 Andalusia for uh -huh. doing that, um, and um. Mm, mm, My wife and I, we are two of the six people. Okay, that that's when, interesting. When you have, you, you, you are professional. Hopefully you have you, more time. You have, you have the experience and then you come and I check yeah. your knowledge and then I tell you, okay, you have the knowledge and the, and, and the, the possibility. Okay, so I give you this credit. It doesn't mean that you cannot work. Uh -huh. Right, But right, right. In the long term, that should be. But of course, it's. Imagine you you are a doctor, and you can only use homeopathic <laughs> approach right. to the things. Right. Of course, I would love only to be homeopathic, but sometimes I exactly. have cancer. I have to exactly. Cut. What what I do? No, no. Only hands. And no, no, no. It's science. You so know? in Spain, maybe you're still fortunate. In Germany, that's not the case. In Germany, right now, you have a test. Like you, I, I have the written test. Like you, if you want to become a certified, the government to allow you, whatever part in Germany you are, there will be some veterinarian behaviorist and there will be some positive reinforcement trainer. Yeah, yeah. And you have to, like you have no, but absolutely no choice, but you have a, a straightforward question. Would you use any type of correction Ever, or would you use only positive reinforcement? And unless you check that you will only use positive reinforcement, you will not yeah, be but certified. That's, that that's not science. But it's not science. Of yeah, course, yeah, it's not. But know, this is that, where that, that, things yeah, yeah, are but that, but really that, fucked mean, up. Yeah, but it's only. And uh, when you have all these that, that's new a, trainers, that, that that's a political approach. It's, right, it's right, right, right. if you are going to be police, no. Mm. And you have to control and, and, and educate right. the people. You cannot. Right. You cannot. You you cannot use your tools. If you need, of course. But you, you must you must use it in the in the more clear way to never use it. But see where the the little, I mean, it's such yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. smart way how they did it because now there is so many certified trainers in Germany that have said we can train dogs only by positive reinforcement. So if one trainer in Germany right now says, no, no, you cannot, they will tell you, you cannot, but every trainer that is certified yeah, but can. It's, it's what I was telling you know, that we are not a proper prof uh, profession that has this backup knowledge that we really test that hypothesis and we put it in practice with different approach of people right. and analysis. But it's you know? already past that stage in Europe. But it can change is, is what I mean. But with knowledge and with the time, of course. No, it's, it's something that mm -hmm. now we have this situation, but even in, Because the, now in the education is, is uh, you know, is, I, I read in some countries they were doing just this kind of uh, education that they were not making tests to the kids and always everything by a screen or a computer and they are coming back to paper and also to doing exams because we, they have checked that they are were creating such a big problem in the kids. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, really one of the sad things like in our professional, no? Mm -hmm. In our profession is that we we are we don't have that backup of really our system to be in science analysis right. 
Really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for so sure. yeah, we very true. We we tried this with this level of dogs, and we did this analysis. No, I have this dog with this social behavior, with this so inter specific behavior, right. with this motivation, with this level of intensity towards correction. So we only do this, but we didn't do that, and then we have the result. We do a medium side. We did we do that so you, a science. You know, it's yes. it's something that we can really mm, put it on science as profession. No, so now we are prone to some. Uh, you know, I, I as I told you, I, I was studying veterinary. You know, and, mm. and it's like if I am a teacher, a doctor is going to tell me how I have to educate my kid. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Because why? Because the veterinarian is the only it? one that have the backup of science and sometimes right. it's not the right science you know a, 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 a doctor in veterinary must be a doctor not a psychologist uh, no, right. not a, a, a trainer or a sport trainer or you know it's like if you want to teach your kid you don't go to the doctor no I, I'm you know it's is something like we're on the same page but how do you reverse that when it has gone now so far yeah yeah now now it's really how now because if you try to say this you're going you're criminal you're going to jail in some countries you are going to jail yeah yeah no no in some countries right? you, so we, how we know that situation that and i said I, I cannot use that kind of tools yes so i have to 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 really extend much longer right. the training for the normal people and and start insisting them that we have to start even sooner with the dogs and you need much much more time and you sometimes to to really create the correction that says that the stupidness from these people you uh, you don't need a e collar to correct the dog right right you know you you don't need you can you don't need nothing really yeah so it's, and the, you know, what the explanation is, let's, let's make it clear. Are you going, people say, no, I don't correct. No, I see you when people come to our practice, I see you just two minutes when we have say hello and you have not to stop correcting the dog. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you don't, because what we want to create is uh, an avoidance response. I, if I give a correction, what I want to, to to make is I I give you this correction so the next time this happens you try to avoid that and block that uh, that behavior and so I don't have to correct you anymore and right. you get the learning no we don't give no, corrections because we sure. want to create a for concept sure. I, you you do this I reward you I do you do this I correct you so you stay always in the positive. Right. Never go to the negative correction. Right. No, right. don't touch <laughs> the iron. Right. No, so you don't touch it. You, you learn it very clearly, very fast. What but goes on? But if if the if the iron is just warm, you keep on going and going and going and going, and the people don't stay, and then you become desensitized. No, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, in no, English, no, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, but you create. Sense the sensibilization and habituation so but it's very sim simple <laughs> approach you know uh, to the learning but what what if i give a correction my task is to give the correction in the doses that is good enough to avoid the situation it's like if you give antibiotic i don't want to give antibiotic but if i give antibiotic it's just a very low doses what happens? I create resistance. Right. And then when the problem comes, I have right. to use every time more and more. But if if I use antibiotics, I should do use the the doses that is normal, that I can cure you. But if I give you too much, I poison you and I give you problems. So the the analysis and the professional task, if if I need, I give you the antibiotic that is good enough to cure you, so I don't need antibiotics right. anymore. Right. No? But we want to have the possibility, if I have 
that situation is my professional observation who decides if you need antibiotic or not, or no, no, only homeopathic. <laughs> you know, it's, so. So, how do you think this can get reversed? Yeah, because in that's that's a question of I think you're you're like in that right direction. The people that we are doctrinaires, we must have knowledge. Right.